Welcome to this week's episode of the Have A Weird Podcast, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Adam Rowe, and that's Dan, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Dan Nightingale. <laughs> this is our podcast. It is. We're both going on tour separately, uh, starting in... You start in August, I start in September. Going all over the gaff. Tickets for my tour at adamrowe.co.uk, and tickets for Dan's tour at... DanNightingale.com. Uh, ahead of that, you've got some previews coming up, danspreviews.com. Yeah, very few tickets left but tickets are selling out for both these tours. Get them now to avoid disappointment. And of course, if you're a long-time listener of Have A Weird, you will know that we have got one of the biggest and best Patreons on the planet and the biggest in the United Kingdom. 23,000 and counting, starting from just three quid a month, you get an absolute belter of a deal from us. Not only do you get early access to these public episodes, but you get an extra episode every single week, which is where we save our naughtiest humor for. And on top of that, every single month, you get a special. You get a brand new special every single month. Back catalogue included. Legendary. The Nashville special was huge. We went to Amsterdam. We've done two ghost hunts. We've taken over a restaurant. And there's loads more on top of that. I think we're up to something like 20 plus Patreon specials. And then the famous lock-ins when we get hammered in here with our mates. Some of the best podcasting we've ever done. Patreon.com slash have a weird pod. Sign up for just three quid a month. You do get more benefits the more you sign up for, but everyone gets all of the content that we put on there. And on top of that, you get early access to tickets for our shows, for the podcast live shows. And sometimes we do small events and they sell out immediately on Patreon. So if you want to be in the room for those, you've got to be a Patreon. Patreon.com slash have a weird pod. Sign up now and enjoy this episode. We've already recorded it. It's going to be it's a belter. 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 Wag wag leads. You're listening to the funniest podcast in the game from the heart of Liverpool with Adam, Dan, Sensei Kal, and Finn. This is the one and only Have a Word. Brought to you by Manscaped, the very best product on the market for below the waist grooming. Go, Ed. Get on me. Seen Tinky Winky's dad? Hey, you know Tinky Winky, the Teletubby. Dave Thompson, Tinky Winky, the black guy. What? Is Tinky Winky black? He's purple, isn't he? Tinky Winky's dead. The guy inside. Guess what killed him? Dipsy. Uh, a massive baby face son. AIDS. <laughs> right. Okay, so not my answer. <laughs> Hang on. Tinky Winky got sacked for playing Tinky Winky gay, didn't he? Yeah. So he died from AIDS. Tinky Winky. Died of AIDS last week. Oh. Is that an episode? Google it. That's a scatty episode of it is. Tinky Winky Google dies of AIDS. Yeah, but the babies have all grown just up just put now, Tinky it? Winky dead. People have grown up with uh, the Teletubbies. Oh, dear. Simon Shelton Barnes. Oh, maybe it's not Tinky Winky. Collapsed. On a Liverpool street and died of hypothermia. Maybe it's Dipsy. 2018. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, breaking news. Five years ago, a lad died in Liverpool. Tinky he- Winky has passed away from AIDS. Where are you getting this? La la. Po. Oh, this is not real nudes. It's a joke and satire. Oh, nudes. <laughs> <laughs> I got sent it this morning. Thought it'd be a good start to the pod. When has that ever stopped us, though? <laughs> yeah. No, he's just smack it, doesn't he? Oh, I see. I get it now. Because Tinky Winky played Tinky Winky gay. gay. That's why I was like putting two two together. Like, oh shit. Oh, uh, so that's a homophobic joke, and we've started the pod with it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Was by accident though. It was by accident. I love the gays. Also, Dip- more pussy for us. Also, Dipsy's in Al Qaeda. That's true. That got sent <laughs> to me this morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, the- yeah, it was a. Re- they, they'd never put that episode out when Dipsy was like jihad against the West. Dipsy Bengham. <laughs> Have you ever seen the episode the, the deleted scenes from Friends from the week of nine eleven? Raw. So the episode of Friends that went out okay. days after 9-11 happened. Right. Right. It had already been filmed. Yeah. So like they went out on like 9-14 or whatever, right? <laughs> that sounds like a time in the morning, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's Chandler getting uh, reprimanded at the airport because they think he's a terrorist with a bomb. And, and there's loads of terrorism jokes and oh. loads of like... Oh, yeah, I'm going to blow the plane up, aren't I? Like, there's loads of it. And uh, on the DVD uh, that I used to have, because I borrowed it from Carl and never gave it back. Um, you got of, the extras? No, so at the end of that episode on the DVD, it goes, uh, the following scenes were deleted uh, 
because this this episode went out just days after 9-11 happened. We hope these scenes can now be enjoyed and appreciated with the humour they were intended. Commitment to Shit. comedy. Yeah. The absolute commitment. One of the most horrific things that's happened in the history of the United States in the last, in, in literally in the 200 years that it's existed and they've gone, yeah, 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 but let the dust settle, literally. These are some great jokes. Get it we on wrote. DVD. We fucking nailed that scene. Let's still stick it out. Our fans will appreciate it. Did you ever give me that back? I gave him the friends box set. Yeah, you, had, you you were pretty determined to get it back at one point, and I gave you it back. Lending Only box three sets discs was as well. such a stupid thing to do. You when you had your little DVD collection, and someone was around and like, oh, I've always wanted to watch that, and you were like, yeah, half it, bring it back. Never, no. always gone. Yeah, for a while. Oh god. I mean, but you don't need them anymore, do you? Who nicked my fucking Studio Ghibli's? Some cunt. Is that a book? No, all the films. I had oh. a little DVD Who thing. my cheese? <laughs> <laughs> Who nicked my Studio Ghibli's? Um, yeah. Imagine, imagine... I don't think they knew, Put a DVD on now. Imagine, I, like, you've got friends over and you're like, I'm just going to put a DVD on. That's annoying, because when it finishes, you have to put another one in. Yeah. You can't just, like, skip to the next thing. Especially when you're watching a box set of like a series when you're like, I remember having the West Wing box sets and you get three in and they'll be like, now it's disc two. You're like, oh, I'm on the couch, guys. What do you reckon, <laughs> the, next, what do you reckon the next thing is? Because everyone's like, no. Just into it. your brain, isn't it? Do you reckon, yeah. They're just gonna, you're just going to like put a needle in your head and you'll be able to watch fucking Bad the... Boys 2. Little, just an addendum to that. <laughs> I don't think that's the next thing. <laughs> I don't think we're going from Disney Plus to, yeah, needle in the brain. Yeah, but they also didn't think we were going from fucking VHS to fucking streaming. Yeah, but he was on see things coming. Down. I know, but there was technology step... moves faster than the human mind can comprehend. You've got no idea what's going on. <laughs> <next laughs> no, 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 it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Just, I don't want to pull you up on everything. But <laughs> technology doesn't move faster than the human mind can comprehend. It moves faster than on, your mind. Can yeah, oh, yeah. No, it does now imagine I'm... showing someone in the twenties like a fucking I don't know, like a, a whistle lollipop. Yeah. Imagine showing them a Ford Focus. <laughs> yeah. What <laughs> amazing bit of time travel that would be. We're here in the nineteen twenties. Wall Street crash has just happened. Look at Ford Focus, lovely metallic blue. Yeah, they, they were miles be, per gallon on that. Oh, they've thrown themselves out of that window. Did they have cars then? Yeah, the first. Well, yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. First cars were what? When, you, when was yours? Nineteen twelve. <laughs> the yeah. year the Titanic went down. Oh, I've got a conspiracy about that. I might save that for later. What? About the Titanic. Yeah. Have about you seen Sister Ship? Yes. And how they sank that one? Yeah, we'll the Rockefellers. Bosh. The, the Lusitania. No, that was. I'm, I'm all over that, mate. I've known about that for years. Did you see the Friends <laughs> episode? Did <laughs> you see the Friends that. episode? <laughs> yeah. Where Ross Geller threatened to sink a, a cruise ship. Who, Ross Geller? <laughs> I wouldn't know who you were talking about. I'm, Ross. Oh, That's right, though, isn't it? Ross Geller. Yeah, uh, Ross Geller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It did look like you were pulling him up on Ross's saying in there. No, no, I know Ross Geller. Hmm. <sighs> Apparently, so who owned it? John Rockefeller? I don't know. Him. I think it was him. Had two ships, the Titanic and the the Diana, the, the Jackie. The, Node, is it? the Olympic, the Olympic, the Pussy Wagon. Oh no, the Olympic. The Olympic was newer, apparently, or something. Was it? No, basically, he, facts with Carl. He painted the Titanic to look like that. Oh no, he painted the Olympia to look like the Titanic. <laughs> You've really done your research on this, haven't you? <laughs> painted the. What Olympia. happened was he insured the Titanic. He didn't insure the Olympic. So the Olympic was the one that went down, but they were like, oh, that was the Titanic, that. Yeah, and he that painted it. Apparently he painted it days before to look like it, mm. and all his competitors were on board. Right. They all died. Uh, and that was J. Bruce Ismay, not John Rockefeller. J.P. Morgan. Um, J.P. Morgan, that's it, yeah. There uh, you go. Rockefeller was so ludicrously wealthy Aren't for still the a time. Family? Unbelievable wealth. Because they then hundreds they, of billions they in today's the money. Reserve, didn't they? JP Morgan was born in Crosby. What? Click on it. Is it the Crosby? <laughs> it is. JP Morgan was born in Crosby. No wonder they're all fucking Tories up there. Yeah, they've got the Tory. That's mad, Dad. That's mad. Good everything here, you know. Is Crosby dead Tory? Seems <laughs> just nice. <laughs> No. Crosby is like uh, the the wealthy bit of Bootle. 
It's one up from Bill. People think it's Formby, but it isn't. Right. Formby's full on, like, fucking... <laughs> but, like, Crosby's, like, on the way to that. You know so it mean? goes... Literally. It goes Bootle, and then a bit nice to uh, Crosby, and then you're in Formby Tory. No, the gap Tory between Formby. Bootle and Crosby is a bit bigger than what you've just made up. No, There's the no gap between Bootle and Crosby is not. The gap between Crosby and Formby is about six and a half thousand miles. Yeah. But people think they're neighbouring butters, but they're not. No, I don't mean... I mean in terms of Tory's-ness. Tory-ness. Formby Tory, and then you get to sort of Southport, and it's just like Nana Tories. No, they're just old Tories who want to go and die somewhere else. That's what he said, Nana Tories. Like a, like a dog. Do you choose to die in the garden? He said they're Nana Tories, and you said, no, no they're said not they, like that, they're just old Tories. I said they go, they go there to die. They don't, they're not born there. That's, I don't think we're disagreeing on any of these points, mate. <laughs> <laughs> don't think we're disagreeing. Can you just check Rockefeller's wealth at the, at, at the height of his wealth? It, apps, the man I, was... I thought it was still a family now. It yeah, is. but they're not. But that—that's what happens. You in like you give it to your son. One point four billion kid. dollars in nineteen thirty-seven. Lad, that's like unlimited money, isn't it? That is a lot of money now. What's that in today's money? Nineteen thirty-seven. Yeah, had... fucking till. No, that's fucking shite. That's twenty-six point six bill. Oh, that's you'd be three percent of the U.S. gross domestic product of GDP. My man, how'd you even start that? I just start what. Making that much money, you just like work hard. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what. That's the famous Rockefeller. Put the hours in. He just G. worked hard. He went from supervisor <laughs> to assistant manager to own three percent of the nation's wealth. Yeah, yeah. That's it's a quick, you know. It's done well. It's like you know. Who are rich cunts? Branson. Who else is there in da the UK? Sugar, Dyson, Ray Leonard, <laughs> Sugar Ray Leonard, Sugar Ray Leonard. <laughs> Mike Dyson. <laughs> uh, Mike Dyson. <laughs> That's how he says it as well. <laughs> Dyson's all right because he actually pays tax over here. Yeah. Oh, my man who... Love his hoovers, you know. They are goated hoovers, aren't they? Yeah, but he's fucking with hand Put dryers, a man. In What's he well? doing with hand dryers? It just looks a bit over the top. Over like, I know hand top? dryers... You do go over the top, yeah. <laughs> you, the ones that you put in, have you seen the one that looks like handlebars now? And it's like... <laughs> Yeah, they're it's, unbelievable. I don't know. I think they're a bit... What, you want to go back to the other ones? That's like a fucking asthmatic child trying to breathe <sighs> your hands, right? <sighs> Be a man and wipe it on your jeans as you walk out. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Touch an hand dry as you lizards. Let's do this. And then everyone knows you've washed your hands as well. It's a universal sign of washing my hands there. Yeah. yeah, but then you've got to touch Little the door. You're just rubbing poo all over your jeans. <laughs> I hate touching That's the horrible. door. I hate touching the door. <laughs> And someone's not dried their hands properly and it's a little bit wet and yours are, it's like, oh, I don't touch the, I don't touch doors and toilets. And How do you get out of the toilet, Carl? <laughs> feet. What? Feet. Excuse me? Either that or a tissue. So you I use my feet sometimes. Hang on. I can. You open... <laughs> uh, there, is a, there is a service station toilet. Yeah, audible. On the, the, I'm, I'm not talking about cubicle. The I'm China, talking the door out China is Richards. a pull yeah. and you're pulling that with toilet, toilet roll. What? How are you getting out oh. of the fucking toilet? He uh, will just open it. So if it's a slidey one, I'll use my elbow. If it's a pull, I'll have No, it's not a cubicle. It's the toilet door from the whole toilet. You Going know? out? Yes. Probably. So you've got to pull it. I'll wait until someone else leaves. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's there a really go. good lie, that car. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you not seen the foot, the foot handles that they put out during COVID on the yeah. floor? Just put them everywhere, especially in toilets. American bogs are good like that because the flush is meant for your feet, isn't it? It's the little, you know, the little... Handle at the side. Did you see them when we were yeah, over there? Yeah. You just meant to touch it with your foot. You're like, well done, guys. That's smart. I don't want to touch Why are we touching, touching shit? landing your own shite? <laughs> right. I mean, that you've, that's on you, really, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just going to, oh, oh, God. I'm swimming in poo. Just wipe on your jeans. I am British, though. Not used to this. American toilets are horrible. I don't like how high the water is. Yeah. It makes I don't me trust sick. Because yeah. you just see your shit just floating around. Yeah. I don't like it at all. <laughs> it's horrible. You and you're not could touch it. And your bollocks. I like opening doors with my feet. <laughs> I feel like talented when I do it. Do you know what I mean? What, like, seal, like you know, like a little handle one. You know, like you've got like two cups of tea. Yeah. And there's a handle oh, to open, yeah. and you go on one foot and you open it with your right foot, and you fucking you boot it open. Like after you've like used your toes and oh, because I'm pretty talent. I have them just opening different <laughs> doors, <laughs> different things. And what do you do? Do you what? Do you just give it a little tap to get it away from the. The and door just, frame you, a little you, bit. You grab your, the, grab the handle with your toes. You pull it down with your foot, uh, and then as it's down, you, you even with like boots on, you can do that if you're yeah. dexter, dexterous. What the fuck, chimpanzee feet have you got? <laughs> yeah, you just walk out. You know, you use your dick, loop it round, open it up. Stop touching. My handles. toes are a bit like sort of like this from using them for years. Like talons. 
But I, I've got like, Arr. I've got like g- growly feet. Like a palm. <laughs> my, 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 my toes are not flat. They're a little bit raised because I'm so used to grabbing stuff with them. I can show you it if you want. No, I've seen them. I've seen them loads. It's hard to stop looking at them. Um, I don't, this gonna, I'm not going to enjoy this. Audio listeners, oh. this is going. Wait. <laughs> Wallace <laughs> sends danger. <laughs> don't worry, it's not a troll. It's Adam with his socks off. Open the door, see. You see what I mean, though? Yeah. Yes. From gripping stuff. So from opening like toilets. Grab a, a no, handle. Don't. Like, oh, yeah. like this. Why, why are you walking out of toilets with bare feet? I'm not. Right. This is, this is not like <laughs> in a public toilet. This is like when I'm walking around the house. No, when he comes out of the public toilet, he takes a sock Oh, off. sorry, I'm stupid. <laughs> You're opening doors in your house with your bare feet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why won't you touch your own doors in the house? It's only your poo. Wow. No, it's when I've got two cups of tea and I've got to open that the door. That makes sense. Yeah. When my hands are full. When you know, you, when you've had a shit with two cups of tea, you know. <laughs> what you do is... When you have a shit with two cups of tea, you're like, I don't want to touch a door. No, when you go in the kitchen and you're making cups of tea, you close the door behind you, don't you? It makes it easier when you it's leave. It's a fucking nightmare for him. He's got an open plan kitchen. Still walking around. You never know. There could be a fire. Oh my God, there's a fire. I'll need two cups of tea for the fire brigade. <laughs> <laughs> fucking mental. Oi, if you own anywhere that's got public toilets, can you make it fucking pull on the way in and push on the way out? Please, this is this, you're just sensible. Uh, well, I don't know. Can you see the telly? I yeah, don't know the any of these. Oh, oh, the Gopi Hinduja and family. Oh, I know them. <laughs> I don't know any of these people. These are all. So Jim Ratcliffe, you do know. He's trying to buy Man United. Oh, right. Jimmy Ratto. Dyson. And obviously Dyson. Uh... Lenny Blavitt now. <laughs> 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 I love Lenny, you know. He'd be a good bevy him. He's big. He's so big Len. That's what they call him. He's Blavitt. Lenny Blavitt coming. Blavatnik. I don't know any of these The people. Duke of Westminster and the Grosvenor family, they own all of Chester. Oh, God, my, what was that? Chester. They live around the Michael corner. Michael Platt. Isn't that a fictional character from Coronation Street? <laughs> Why is he on the Sunday Times, Richard? <laughs> oh, and Ken Barlow's number 21. <laughs> um, Just go up to the Earl of Westminster because he inherit The Duke of Westminster, sorry, not the Earl. That 9.987 billion that he inherited that, his dad died about seven, eight years ago. Is that owners, the yeah. casino group? The casino owners, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they own casino. Leo Casino. <laughs> um, it's amazing. It was, oh, look at that, mate. My man said Jimmy Ratcliffe. Chemicals, what a shock, up 23 bill. Ooh, someone profited from the pandemic. Yeah. He's only got 29 bill. He was fucking skimp before that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's had a good year, him. That's mad, isn't he? Fucking Leicester City of the Sunday Times Richards here. <laughs> What do you think about Gopi Hinduja, then? I'm a big fan. I like his family as well. <laughs> Gopi Hinduja a and shite family. Gopi shite. What's that asterisk for? <laughs> his sister's a prick. Uh, let's see. Um, oh. Shrikland Hinduja, the elders no. of the four. Nope. <laughs> um, she's she dead. Sand. She's dead. Oh. Oh. So he's more rich. Do you know what, though? Money's not going to make a happy Gopi. Edit. If you know you've lost your sister, <laughs> thirty-five billion wouldn't make me feel better if I lost my sister. I would kill all of my family for thirty-five bill. Oh, it. for forty? Yeah, everyone's getting. Murdered. There's not many things that thirty-five billion wouldn't make me feel happier about. <laughs> Honestly, genuinely, it's a, you're buying Everton then, aren't you? You've yeah, got it, and then deleting them. No, I just, go on the and just delete Everton, Everton, go ahead, gone. It'd be very hard to keep doing the podcast, wouldn't it? No. Do you not think? Imagine with, how good the specials with would be. With 35 billion. billion. <laughs> Let's go to the moon for December special. <laughs> Adam turning up with our, a key card like, ah, oh God, I'm worth 35 billion. He's just buying a new fuck? office. Smash the door He's and buy a new one. I'd, I'd just have someone walking alongside me at all times, just creating things that I need. I need a key card. Whoa, whoa. There you go, lad. What's this, a robot Sherpa? Is this what you've got? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Billionaires have got them. If I was a billionaire, I would have a robot PA and they'd be there all the time. It's a scouse one as well. All right, lad. What? I don't really, I am the key card. Fuck off. Have <laughs> you just had a shit? Don't put those cups of teas down. I'll blow in your hands. I'll use my feet. Oh, just open the door for me. I love how pissed <laughs> off would you get with any if you got that rich and you had like a PA who was like just come with me everywhere and sort everything out you'd eat them within about eight hours yeah but you said a new one no I, I wouldn't eat me robot would I what are you talking about 
I don't think we've got... Just be 100 yards behind me at all times. I don't even want to know you're there. I just want when I need you. And he'd make it have lovely tits. Like a Saudi Arabian yeah. wife. Oh, yeah. Like a Saudi Arabian wife. <laughs> Cover them up, though. <laughs> right? Like a Saudi Arabian wife. Yeah. It's a robot in a full burqa. It's weird. Are you showing me this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> I'm out of this robot ship. <laughs> Who's it speaking to? <laughs> Everyone. Like, he's dead happy. I'm fucking made up. Oh, oh yeah, what you could spend Tesla's. your money on. What was number one there, Steve? You could buy yourself a history Should supreme yacht for four. Oh, yeah, that's good. Can't wait to see yeah. City on Fire on uh, If I had 35 TV. Bill, one of the first things I'm buying is a yacht, and one of the f- other first things I'm buying is a plane. What, and you charter them both things? What You're not charter As in, like, you, put, you staff it, so you get a pilot and stuff. Yeah. And a it, captain and stuff. I, I'm going to demand if I had that. that much money, I think I'd learn to fly planes. I just want to fly it myself. <laughs> no, you won't. No, Adam, no. Flying to Australia, I'll do it. And if, no, please, if you get 35 billion, and I've seen you bet on random shit. Oh, I've got a bet on the 430 today. Oh, cool, 35 bill coming in. <laughs> someone someone I know uh, owns a horse, and that horse is racing, and apparently it's uh, very high odds for how good it is. 60-61. 60-61? 66 to 1. <laughs> It's, that's 60, Vegas odds. 60, 61. <laughs> <laughs> that's Vegas odds. My on. mate has got an horse. He's got three T, three T legs. And it goes fasty, wasty, wasty. It's 6,060 to 1. <laughs> and I, I, put, I will put 60, 61 on it being a guy called John that's given him the recommendation. Yeah, yeah, John. Horse John. Aussie John. Uh, it's 60, 61. <laughs> <laughs> I actually wasn't trying to do that. I know you weren't. I noticed you were like. 66 to 1. Nice. 4.30 at Bath. The horse is called Goodison Gale. He's a blue. Oh, it's losing then. <laughs> um, I had a 50 quid okay. free bet in my account, so I've used it. 25 quid each way. Oof. You would put a bet on if you saw odds of 6,060 to 1, wouldn't you? Because <laughs> someone's had an aneurysm at fucking Betfred. If I was a billionaire, I'd, just, I'd, put, I'd bet at every horse race. Okay, these are the runners. At the 4.30 from Bath, we've got Savalas, Where Jacqueline, Thank the Lord. Griggy, <laughs> the Cola Kid, isn't Blue Bell Wall, what time Notre is that Maison. Race? This is the 430, 430 at Bath. Bath. Right. Who have you put this bet on with? John? <laughs> that was the 26th, 26th of May. 26th of May, 2023. Uh, yeah. yeah, that was Why the 26th. the first one? <laughs> that was a, it says full result. Today. Adam's yeah. got a tip on a bet that ran two months ago. <laughs> <laughs> and the horse wasn't in the race. Yeah. <laughs> just going to win, lads. Still <laughs> taking bets, though. Set. Bath, you dodgy cunt. <laughs> Betting on races that are finished. Yeah, we'll accept your cookies. Oh, I'm, so I'm you're gonna, terrible at this. I'm going to guess it's so hard. I've had yeah, horse races. Finn would have it up by now, he wouldn't would. he? <laughs> he loves horses. He'd be looking at baths. Rum and reggae uh, race like, night. Like, a minute, I'll find it. I think it's I'm Adam's sorry, day. what was that? The rum and reggae race night. Go back. What's the rum and reggae race night? So there's horse the first time I've wanted... drink rum. And they have a bit of reggae, reggae sauce on their chicken burgers. The chicken burgers. No. <laughs> Can we go? I'm into it. That's the first time I've been interested Not in music. horse racing. Isn't this a reggae night? No, it's never been to races. I've never been to rum and reggae races. Have you been to the races though? Um, no. Part of me would like to see Ladies' Day at Aintree because that looks it's overrated. Fucking mental. It's overrated. Genuinely, it's overrated. We should go to a race day though. Just a little staff day out. You know, I'd be the, into it. Chester races. White shirt day. The yeah, dogs. Yeah. What? The dogs. No, the horses. Oh, right. Yeah, Chester races. Yeah. Should just do it. And I know there's ethical problems and people are like, oh, you know, the horses get treated like shit, but who gives a fuck, really? <laughs> <laughs> it would be bad not to say it initially. <laughs> I know you've got your concerns, but what about this? Shut up, you whinging cunt. They're happy. Look at them running. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the 4.30 from Bath. Bobby Kennedy, he's going to get shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's something fading, eh? Come on, you know what's just getting shot? Go tree. Big Jimbo, sounds like one of your mates from school. Street Jester, oh God. Moliana, Uther Pendragon, whoever owns that is a dickhead. Susan, be quick. <laughs> <laughs> Rita That's when you've got your hazards on outside the shop. Rita Rana. Susan, be quick. Ladies pack a punch. Ladies pack a punch. Goodison girl. Dee's dream. 
Anne Pinkfenstenberg, who is owned by someone who is <laughs> trying the ketamine. I think someone just sat on the keyboard there rather than sending the name in, didn't they? Someone owns too many horses. What are you calling this one, oh, Steve? Ping, ping, oh, fluff, fluff. Uh, 66 to 1, that is long. Um, I got wait, wait to work. Wait, Adam. I'm still laughing at myself. That's Do you so actually sad. give a fuck about horses? Um, I, I understand the day. criticism of it, yeah, but I just, you know, me not having a fucking little flutter every now and then is not going to fucking change anything, is it? It will, if everyone stops fluttering, but don't. Yeah. I, I think we if should... everyone stops fluttering, yeah, then I won't flutter anymore. If everyone was vegan, I'd be quite happily vegan. Can we buy a horse? I want to go to the races, but why don't we buy a horse? Are we allowed to call it My Nana's Flaps? <laughs> is, is there any no, rules? We'd call it Ron Seal. We'd call it John. John Seal. Great over fences. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty carpet. Never been beaten. <laughs> Ron Seal is the best name for the ass. I think we can do better. It's good. <laughs> Clip bastard. Clip bastard. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't think you're allowed to swear in them, are you? If you don't do spaces, you can. You can just say. It's oh, like, like Puffins and Clip song. bastard. Yeah. <laughs> Clip bastard. I don't know how we made that more offensive. <laughs> the funny thing is, people are backy because. It's our ass and it'd be funny. And it'd end up being favourite for every race book being like absolutely ridiculously We're getting a good one though. Like when we were doing favourites for Christmas number one and finish 100 and <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Always go with the better. <laughs> the bookies don't lose. I love that that, that picture exists in that we're second favourite behind Elton John for Christmas number one. And it's real. <laughs> when I'm 90 like... years of age, <laughs> that will still exist. All right, shout out to all the Have A Word listeners that put a bet on for us to get Christmas number one because you'd get something back from it, but couldn't be asked buying the single. <laughs> Genius. Oh we God. did so well in the betting to the point where no, all no, no, of no, the no. betting houses were like, I don't know who these are, but it's freaking me out. <laughs> Drop the fucking odds. The buy-in was fine. We came fourth in the buys. It was the downloads. It was the streams. Yeah, yeah, up. yeah. We sold about 4,000. I think we had about 10,000 bets on us in the first week. I was at 100 quid up on my cash out. I put 50 quid on as soon as it went on. And it went up to like 140 quid. And I was like, ah, oh, we've won. Oh, that's mad that we fuck with that. And I lost 50 quid. Yeah, we somewhere there's an algorithm. <laughs> somewhere there's an algorithm that we've changed just by writing about your wife leaving you. Can we please buy How a much horse? Is that anyone selling we'll, us? We'll look after it. We no, will. We just we? pay a stable hand. Crooks from oh. Mice and Men. Yeah. We'll get him. <laughs> <laughs> is he a white lad? Yeah. Um, no, he's not famously. Oh, is he not? Famously not. Mm. Oh, well, that'd be good then. Um, <laughs> be positive. I wish I'd not talked for the last 35 seconds. <laughs> have you not read of Mice and Men? I have. I haven't uh, committed it to memory uh, like yourself. You don't know about Lenny and the rabbits. I, I'm sorry. I, I remember that bit. I don't remember the ethnicity of the stable hand. Yeah. Oh, we. When we, did you last read of my cement? Did you just like yeah, school? But it was fucking 11. hammered home, wasn't it? Yeah. Like that was like a full school year. In my Kelly's head. wife wore red because she was a fat slag. That's what we got told. By which teacher? Miss Johnson. Oh, Miss Johnson sounds game, doesn't she? But it's mad. That... English teachers go right. I'm going to read too much into this. He wears a hat. That means he's a murderer. Yeah, we did hats. get told that she wore a red dress because she was promiscuous. Carla's paraphrased. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> Miss Johnston, she's a fucking slagger. <laughs> Curly anyway, wore... we're finishing early. Mama's whiskey time. Curly wore a glove with a hand with Vaseline in it, and we're like, that's because your fingers there. <laughs> Look, did Miss Johnston say that? Yeah, he said that's for finger in it, and huh? she's a bad, dirty bitch because she wears red. Was Miss Johnston just horny? <laughs> was Miss Johnson fit? <laughs> no, she bought. She was the head teacher's wife. And she looked a bit like an horse. She did. Like can we, she. Can we call this her? This is awful if she's listening. Are you a good teacher in that, but you know. Do you think she's listening? I, mean, I think it's possible. Hi, Miss Johnson. I think you it's possible sound that great. Listen. She doesn't look that much like an horse. Maybe I bumped into one of my old teachers who listens to this. I was in Marks and Spencer's, and he came up to me and he went, "Adam," and I went, "Hi, mate, you're all right." And he went, "You don't remember me, do you?" And I went, "John, Dean, we used to work together in Mackey's." And he went, "No." <laughs> <laughs> How disrespectful would that have been if it was if you were saying his teacher, Dean, we never respected you at school. <laughs> um, and he went, No, no, I'm Chris. I used to teach him maths. Oh, yeah, man. No, no. He didn't remember him. He looks a lot like Dean. <laughs> <laughs> Adam remembered his... the conversation with that. He went, I know I look like Dean, but not me. <laughs> um, yeah, I've made some memories wild. These should just make theories up. 
Like as far that? as I can remember, our entire English from year seven to when we finished was of mice and men and blood brothers, and that was it. Yeah, yeah. Another one. Oh, she's got two sons. That means she's. They a gave them half a medallion each. Yeah. And it ends with the. It starts with the end. Blood brothers. You see the last scene. Dead. Willie Russell. One of them gets that blown off, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. Sorry for spoilers there, but you know. You've only spoiled the first 20 <laughs> seconds of the play. But we also can of spoil <laughs> Blood Brothers. It's not like Oppenheimer. And that's not easy to that's quite easy I've got to me spoil, tickets. I'm going to see Oppenheimer and Barbie on Sunday. I'm going next week. You're in doing, that order as well. You're doing the double. Yeah. Oh, you're going dark to light, yeah. That's well better, isn't it? People are doing different ways. I'm doing Oppenheimer first. I'm doing Oppenheimer at 12.30. Yeah. I'm doing Barbie at 7 p.m. What are you doing in between? Scrab. Yeah. I, I'm going to do it next week. I think it's mad how this is taken hold as a so like it, a little cultural phenomenon. As, it started as them being rivals, like, oh, they're being released on the same day. They're polar opposites. Who's going to win? And then everyone's just gone, oh, no, we're not going to let you do that. We're just going to champion them both, and we're going to go and watch them both. Have they both got good reviews so far from the critics? Or I mean, it's two of the biggest film releases in over a decade. Doesn't so. mean they're going to be good, I though, think does Ryan Gosling's going to steal the show. I've got a feeling. I think it should be called Ken. <laughs> it's just bad as I was. Um... But it's Chris Nolan, isn't it? So that's just automatically going to be incredible. He and plays Barbie. Chris Nolan's Barbie, yeah. Kevin's his brother. He's in it. Um, they're both going to be heavy, aren't they? Let's be honest. Not, they can't be shit after all this. Oh, I'm going to be away to the reviews. You're not here next week? Nope. I'm in Anglesey. Why is that? Who have I got? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm away. Sean Walsh is co-hosting next week. Oh, fire. Yeah, that's a bit of fucking insight for is you. That next One week? of the best. What are you doing in Anglesey? Um, hanging out with my family. Jack's Jack's coming. This is the holiday that he's coming on. He's not going. He didn't come to Tenerife with the lads. He asked. He said no. And uh, he's not going away with Laura and Etta in August. This Spice is his holiday. Rubber soul. That's fucking. That's shit, isn't it? Why does he not get a chance to go? He should be. Because he ruins things. He's too. Yeah, but he doesn't know, does he? I know he doesn't know. He's an. It's but, but he's too. Gutter, isn't mental. He when he's gone, he's like, it's oh. mental. He's, it's, he's two and a half. He doesn't need to be anywhere near a plane. He can be in a car for an hour and 20 minutes and we'll be in Anglesey. You can't and be kicking off. You up. don't take Wallace everywhere. You're not taking Wallace to Italy. Wallace would be gutted when you've gone for that. If I could, I would though. You know I would. Also, he Jack's can't. fucking emotionally it's abusive. Hard, it honestly feels like <laughs> it, you're in a... It is hard, yeah. No, but you can. No, logistically, it's hard to take a toddler on holiday. It's not for you just sit a child on your lap and No, fly. logistically, it's hard to take a toddler on holiday. Like really? you can do it. It can be done. If you can choose not to, I'd, t I'd take that option. He's genuinely all over the shop at the moment. He's either needy and loves you or just a, a little fucker. You're going to get him some gifts? Yeah, he's got, it, we're going to Anglesey. He's there. We're having a holiday. No, I mean, when she got where, where's Laura gone? Uh, Laura's going away with Etta. And it's just you and the boys, yeah? It's, they've got a week with me and the lad. We're going to have some fun. You're going to sleep in the big bed? You are? You're going to sleep in the big bed? I do sleep in the big bed. The bigger bed? There is no bigger bed. <laughs> I got the big bed, and he's sleeping in his bed. Is Laura in a single bed? And he's gonna go to sleep and then not wake up in the night. I'm gonna have earplugs in. It'll be fine. He has to be pretty loud. Do to you wake think me. Dan's got a single bed? In my head, it's a single bit like a race car. Yeah. Do you know what I've just realised? In my head, you've got a single bed as well. <laughs> oh, I've got the master bedroom. I don't know how it's worked out. I've got a, a oh, king size. In my head, you're like in the back, like in a little. Tiny... Are you not in the room we started the podcast in? Nope, that's uh, Jack's room now. Laura's in the other room. I've got the. I don't know how it happened. Laura was like, I don't, I'm going to move it around. I've ended when up you in were in bedroom. Jack's room, did you have a single bed? I, uh, there was a period during the <laughs> lockdown where that room was a single bed and then a, a studio in the corner. It was mad how that was working out. Yeah, in my head, you've got a single bed. Like a hostel. We've sort of moved around. I think we're, yeah, I've got the master bedroom. All right. I've got a week on my own with my two-year-old son. It's easier just having one of them because I'm just going to tune into him. But he is a little ball bag. And then also the cutest thing I've ever seen. What and he's planned? great. What have you planned to do with him? No plans. I just want to survive. Please come over with the dogs. That'd be great. Are you going to invite us? No, no. You are invited. No, that's only after team. All right, okay. I want to see Etta. Well, I'm genuinely, if you could come over and hang out, that'd be great. Okay. Me I'll bring my dog. Oh, hang on. Do you want an afternoon off? Me and Adam will take him out. Yeah. We go to Chill Factor. That 14, 15, 16 when I'm back. That yeah. Tuesday, me and Carl come take him out. Yeah. You can take him out. Can we go skiing? Yeah. yeah. Archery. Rubber saw. <laughs> Clay pigeon shooting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Would you trust us with an hour? No, I think Laura will take him on holiday rather than. Why would you tell her? Exactly. That's the best tactics in it. An hour with me and Adam, he'll come back and he'll be like. Don't tell women anything. They get worried. They do. Yeah, about the two year old child getting taken away by his Uh, mother. He'll do cliff jumping. He'll do that. I think that's another thing. That's Manny Wallens, it? Um, it's cattle. Genuinely, he's mental at the moment. Fucking hell. You Shall we have a break? Yeah. I'm, it, that week is going to be great. It's going to be full on though. Make sure you've got plans though. Wacky Warehouse. Yeah. Because you'll be sitting in a pontoon. Go. Yeah, so place afternoon of pontoon. Are you scared? You're not going to sleep, are you? It's easier when it's just him. It's going to be fine. There's not going to be loads of sleep. He gets up like two or three times in the night. What does he do? Unless I've got earplugs in and I don't wake up. Anyone? What Seems does he good. get up and do? He's just wants in the me. fridge, isn't he? Yeah, he's in the fridge. <laughs> Clay pigeon shooting. <laughs> <laughs> Cliff diving. What if this is the time you realise he's got no respect for you? What if once Laura's out, he's just like, I don't know, you're like, he's just perfect, like, diction. I don't know, you're fucking looking at oh, I'm that. in charge, you stupid old cunt. <laughs> looking at He that. goes, so Laura literally drives off and he's like, Mummy, 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 <laughs> round the corner. Right, you fucking prick. <laughs> Bad enough of your shit. Let's get a domino. You're in the little bed. I'm in the master yeah, bed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you're, gonna have to, you're, gonna have to lift, you're gonna have to lift me into the bed and then fuck off into your bed, but we'll make it work. Give Guess me your what, car keys. I'm going to Mackey's. Yeah. <laughs> I've done a massive shit and I'm not changing it. Wipe my fucking ass. Yeah, that would be a worry. I feel like he does that anyway, doesn't he? Not no, in you're that, getting him confused with me. Not in that <laughs> accent. Not in that accent. Does he still pay his pants? What? Does Jack still pay in his pants? He does his nappies, yeah. Right. I don't it's, know what kids do at that age. What, what age do you start chitting in the toilet? <laughs> it's not far off, but he's slow. Because he's like, why do I need to change? That's you keep wiping my ass. That's, that's boys, that's the winner. I think they are a bit lazier. Yeah. It's sound, it's going to be good age, fun. The amount, the age that you shit in like a... Potty. A toilet. Is, it's like a bell curve, isn't it? Because you start it, shitting in your pants and then it's all toilet and then towards the end of your life, you shit in your pants again. Yeah, it does come back. What what parts of the bell curve are you on, Adam? <laughs> I, I, I've got much less of a bump. <laughs> <laughs> Man's flatlining. But I've got a nipple Woo! curve. About six months when he was 18. And then he's back again. <laughs> uh, if everyone would like to list all the subject matter we dealt with in 35 minutes, I'll be impressed. <laughs> be a long list. Enjoy. <laughs> What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? It's time to tell you about our main guys, the longest standing sponsors we've got, our absolute boys, manscaped.com, an OG sponsor to have a word, supported us from back in the day, and they've got some brand new products. We've been shaving our cocks for years. Time to shave our faces as well. Dan? I've been using the Manscaped that they gave us ages ago for my fucking beard as well. I use it for everything. The Beard Hedger Pro Kit that they've just announced. I think we're the first podcast in the UK to be selling this. It's a massive kit, and this is an amazing piece of equipment. Beard trimmer. On top of the beard trimmer, you get the beard oil, you get the beard shampoo, the beard conditioner, the beard balm, this little brush. You could even clean your golf clubs with that. You know what I mean? You got this to clip the strays off. Manscaped. Dot com, use the promo code WORD20, you get 20% off site-wide and you get free delivery worldwide. You can get something to shave your face, something to shave your penis, something to shave your wife's pussy. You can shave everything in your life using manscaped.com and 20% off from us. Men, men are difficult to buy for. And this is one of the best presents you will ever give. Isn't it? Yeah. I'd be well happy. Why do you get the man who's got everything? A beard hedger. Mm. Manscaped.com. Word 20. 20% off. Do it. Free delivery. Do it. Saw your head out. Shave your face. And your cock. And your wife's asshole. The advent's over, Adam. Here we are. Second section. If you'd like to see me preview my new tour show, Stour Bridge, Sunday the 30th of July. About 30 tickets left. 4 p.m. show. Uh, Alfie and Dean are on with me. It's danspreviews.com. And then we've got 15 tickets left in Runcorn on Wednesday the 16th. Um, that'd be nice. And then the whole preview run sold out. And then it's tour time, baby. Um, I've got plenty of tour tickets still to sell. Uh, the Liverpool show in March next year has got about 100 tickets left. And then we have sold out the Empire, which is ridiculous. So far in advance. Um Manchester Apollo in December, about 
you know, 35, 40% of the tickets still to go there. But that is an awful lot of tickets sold in Manchester. Already sold more than we did in seven shows last year because uh, we've gone for the big one. Adam Road at UK. I have added uh, a run at the Jacaranda, a third run. So we sold four nights out in May, four in July. There are four more in September. The Thursday is already sold out. The Monday is now down to, I think, four tickets. And then it's done. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, I have a few left. Uh, and that'll be 12 sold out work in progress shows in Liverpool. Edinburgh as well. I haven't really plugged Edinburgh. Because I always just feel like Edinburgh just sells when you're there. But Edinburgh Fringe Festival, if you go to the Ed Fringe website, type in my name, you'll find me show. It's a five to ten every night, apart from the Mondays. And uh, yeah, and I'm, middle, I'm going to Edinburgh Wednesday. to do a work in progress version of the show. No Come and see Wednesday. Adam this autumn. Come and see me this autumn. There isn't going to be another podcast live show, we don't think. We've done that tour. It was unbelievably good. Also, go and see Thomas Green on tour. Go and see Jamie Hutchison do his debut tour. It will be phenomenal. There are some fucking good shows affiliated to this podcast where basically because of you lot, we get to do stand-up to people who really like us. And Jamie is a prime example. Yeah, he's done brilliant work on uh, Hot Water Green Room. But um, it's it's mad seeing him sell out. I think he's just sold out Five the frog for the, fi for the fifth time, yeah. which is genuinely... Um, you Two years ago, you'd have been like, well, it's not... It's not even feasible. It's the power of podcasting. It's you lot. We love you. Yep. Let's do some advice. The dog is sat right in between my legs. Oh. I think he is taking some comfort from... He came so from Jack, Jack Finnegan has uh, started uh, editing his photographs from the studio. We've given him a desk. And that means he's got Perry with him, who is Jack's dog, who is a boxer, <laughs> who is bigger than me. He's a big guy. And head. Wallace isn't scared, but he's also not 100% comfortable yet. And... Uh, <laughs> He literally, mean, he literally came over for a cuddle with me like, Dan, listen, I know we don't hang out loads, but just need a little bit of backup here, so I'm just going to stay with you. Um, <laughs> you doing the prep, Dan, yeah? Yeah, I've got oh, it. All right, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, some advice, boys. Can we give it? We can Always. give it, can't we? Kynan says, now then, boys, I need some romance advice from you legends. I have a proper crush on the girl that works at our local co-op. She's really cute. Been there. She's really cute, has an amazing to smile, <laughs> and has piercings, tats, same as me. She also seems really kind, but also obviously hates working at the co-op, and I hate my job. My worry is looking like a creep who's trying to crack onto a lass who's trapped behind a counter at work. What's my best tactic Ooh. for asking her out while she's at work without fucking ruining it? Help me out here, boys. Wait outside. Follow her home. Ask her at her front door. <laughs> She'll yeah. feel more comfortable later on a home turf. So what if she works nights? What if she works in the evening and it like closes up at like Co-op shuts 10? at latest 11. So just follow sure. her home at 11. So don't nights. follow her home. Right. But make her aware that you know where she lives. No, you just got to be subtle with stuff like this, haven't you? How subtle? Like a flyby. You've got, it, it's like getting, you've got to just be gentle and when, when you want. Rope at it. <laughs> No, when you want, it's like, it's like, like trying to fucking grab a pie. <laughs> it's like trying to grab a pie that's in like a cage with like laser beams and stuff. And it's like, what did the pie you, do wrong? You, you've, you've got to just like, it's, a, it's in an art museum. It's a hell of a pie. You've got to like reach in, like, dun, kind of pie is this? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> you know, it's a pie in a cage with laser beams. Right. That pie. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's though, a good you? Greg's. Like it's, it, if you go like one, if you go too hard this way or that way, you're going to like burn your hand with a fucking laser beam or something. Totally. So it's, it's, a, it's, it's like, it's a mental gotta, analogy, but it's you gotta working. You've got to be gentle, soft, subtle. Hard. Like, like stealing Firm. a pie. Here's an example. Imagine <laughs> she's across the room. Yeah. You go, Oi, women! And she go, oh, and you go, do you want to see me knob? Don't do that. Right. Across the shop. No, wait until she leaves. Across the road. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of what, the tactics you know involve what? her leaving If you're work. struggling picking up women, I'll up you. Put a shirt on tonight. I'll show you how it's done. He knows how to put a shirt on. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm starting to know that the references. <laughs> I'm, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> it's literally to the point where I'm like, I can tell. I can almost hear the rhythm of them now, even though I don't get the two We've pints. We've done the reference. pie laser beam one. Ah, oh no! Times. Yeah, so many times. Oh, I don't know. The pie laser beam is in two pints. Yeah. Oh my god! I need to re I need to watch that. 
If that's not a scene. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, uh, sing to her. Oh, I've got it. Is she, is she working behind the counter? Buy things that allude to what you're talking about. Johnny's. <laughs> Oysters. Dates. Dates. Nice. Cucumbers. <laughs> Probably just be an asshole, love if you want. Handcuffs. Bye, see you nice. later. That's a great alluding. Handcuffs, wheelbarrows. Does she work in B&Q? Co-op. Mm -hmm. Is this two pints? No. <laughs> <laughs> Buy things. Handcuffs, wheelbarrows, Johnny's. Got it. Dates. What? Hide it in a bag. And go, guess what that is? And she goes, Hide what in a bag? Oh, yeah. I go, yeah, go ahead. See you next Tuesday. That's what nice. if she just goes, you're not meant to take dates out of the packet? Uh, <laughs> so shit. Turns right. out she's a stickler she's for the rules. <laughs> Just, just have a bit of bollocks about her and ask her out. Yeah, just say. Don't hey. do it in a creepy way. She only think you're being creepy if you're being creepy. Just go in and be like, "Yeah, right, love." Hey. <laughs> he wants to go on a date with me. <laughs> and when she's like, "Yeah," they, like just gradually build up a conversation, and then you know you've got to check if she's got a fella first. You got to find out that before you Ooh, make. So you know question. What I mean? Go on, Adam. No, just be like you. Just like uh, how are you? Or like, like just build up. What's the word? Gradual in? small talk. So like, yeah, go in on Monday, right? Oh, well, hang on, we'll role play. Uh, Dan, you're this lady. She's called Christine. What's her name? Christine. She's slightly alternative. Has face piercings and tats. And she's, and she's called, called Christine. Christine with a K. <laughs> oh, cool. She Hello, love you. Was right. born, was she? Hello, love you. All right. Good seeing again. Just this today, please. All right. Yeah. How was your weekend? Boop. Oh my god. No one's ever asked me that before. How was your weekend? Full of dicks. Was it? Wow. I've <laughs> just had loads. <laughs> I've got loads of partners. Do you want another one? No. <laughs> the shop's closed. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had too much dick. Yeah. Should we try it again? Sorry, I've got to do it properly. Just that today, love. You're right. This has already been opened. Yeah, I just had a bit <laughs> on the way down. It was thirsty. Oh, you are. I a... don't want anything else, though. No. <laughs> You're a bad boy. Yeah, you don't play by boy. the rules, yeah. and I like that. Boop. I don't play by the rules. 25 quid, please. Do you want me up? Yes. <laughs> I meant 25 pounds a dick. Let's actually do it. All right, quite sorry. Now that's just safe, please, love. Don't yeah. worry about the fact it's open. Boop. Have you got a co op uh, club card? I have, yeah. How was oh. your weekend? Oh, yeah. It was It was all right. Boop. So it's probably just out, out with your fella or something, weren't you? <laughs> no. He died. Did he? <laughs> yeah. Uh, how long ago? <laughs> Three, four days. Four days ago? <laughs> yeah, but we weren't, I wasn't that arsed. You mean that ass? Yeah, I killed him. Oh, wow. Yeah, I fucked him to death. Right. Yeah. You that good in bed or? Mm -hmm. You know, I sat in his face. Yeah. Yeah, and I've been eating from the pastries. Are you ready to move on? <laughs> yeah. Trying to fuck me? Yeah. Great. Happy? See, in all scenarios, go with anything. Right. I just hope she's a weird freak who loves You it. just, you know, find out she's got a fella. And if she hasn't, then next time you go in, you know, just ask her. It's like, what are you doing the weekend? Oh, I've got no plans at the minute. Well... How about me and you go out for a, a date? I'll pick you up, 7 o'clock Friday night, take you for some food, a few drinks. If we're having a nice time, I might try and kiss you. You've got to let me know whether we're on for a fuck. You know what I mean? Cool. <laughs> all out. Just all out. All out. Do you're you're, a, you're not choosing the time or day. <laughs> I am. But what I what will let you do is consent. Girls want that. Yeah, they, they do want that. No, the first bit. Don't even give we're a doing shit this on free. this day. No, they, we're going, they love that. They love that. Do they? Never Women mind. do love getting told Friday, seven o'clock, I'll pick it up. Yeah. Right, cool. And they she's do? like, boop, I work Fridays. You know, you're off. I spoke to the boss. Okay. Back Once you know they're free. Right. You, you like, we're doing, I'll, I'll pick you up on this day at this time. They love all that. Makes Assertive, them yeah, assertiveness. I hate choosing days and times. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you've had no luck Fuck. with women, you know, because you just do not understand them. Who am I married to? <laughs> Laura? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit, yeah. I did, when I met Laura, I was like, hey, are you married? Cool. <laughs> Here's the church. Here's the time. See you there. Bring some new knickers because they've got frothy. <laughs> Fucking no. cappuccino pants over here. Women love assertiveness. <laughs> they do. They don't like a man who goes, oh, I'll do anything. That, I hate that. So women yeah. definitely hate that because they like... Because he's a woman. Yeah. <laughs> I love women who'll do anything. What do you want to eat? I don't know. Whatever you want. No, do you want him to go, I want a KFC and so do you. Half seven. Wow. <laughs> really threatening them with, with chicken. What are you, you're having what you're having. No, because then they go, oh my God, they want KFC. They, they do life. love, genuinely, though, they do love that. I'll pick it up Friday at seven o'clock. They love all that. Without any, you, you've got to know they're free. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Do you want to try it again? One more time with that. <laughs> right, right. I love, can I just have that today, please? Yeah, yeah, of course you can. How was your weekend? Boop. 
It was all right. It was doing nothing on Friday at seven o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> you doing nothing last Friday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, if I'd have known you were free, I might have asked you I was on a date. But l- unfortunately, that's in the past now, isn't it? What well, are you doing this Friday? Time traveling. Oh, ah, yeah. Because I want your dick. Sorry, I'll do it again. I'm just not taking <laughs> I this. I think you're ruining this. I'm not taking this You're seriously. not taking it seriously I'm at all. I'm not taking it I'm seriously. I'm not playing anymore. Oh, go on. One more time. Can I just have that today, please, love? Ooh. You sound annoyed. <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's two pound ten. How was your weekend? Here's your money. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah. What money? were you up to Thanks last week? Asking. Just not much. Probably out with your fellow, weren't you? No, not seeing anyone at the moment. Are you not? No. No. What are you doing this weekend? Don't know. No plans. No. All right. You working Friday? No. Nice. Give me your address. I'll be there at <laughs> seven o'clock. Be ready. <laughs> I've just frothed everywhere. <laughs> Give me your address. Give me your address. <laughs> What are we eating? What? What are we going to eat? I'll be eating you come 11 o'clock. <laughs> Not right now, babe. Oof. We're going to Quasar and having hot dogs. Nice. That's what Make women sure want. Got space for my dick. There you go. That's what <laughs> women want. And a bag, love. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that helps, lad. <laughs> as much as I'm literally dripping like a radiator, there is a queue behind you. <laughs> um, in all honesty, go up and be... <laughs> dripping like a radiator? Bro. <laughs> You're the plumber there, man. I'm dripping like a fucking helicopter, me. <laughs> <laughs> it's been raining and the water is dripping <laughs> off the helicopter, just so you know. I know helicopters don't actually drip, but this one is because it's wet and so am I. <laughs> and you did it. I'm dripping like the town hall. <laughs> you know, I'm after dripping a big rain like a fucking lampshade, me. Ooh. <laughs> The lampshade is There's in the Something wrong skin. with the lampshade, like, but, you know, I'm still wet. There's a leak in the bathroom above it. <laughs> what does it even mean? <laughs> Dripping like a radiator. <laughs> oh. I'm bleeding That's like a, a radiator. Oh, God. Oh, oh, Dad, y'all. Oh, no. Oh. no. <laughs> that means she's on a period. You don't want to ask her out then. She'll be a nightmare. Yeah, but that's why we're doing it Friday. Yeah, it'll be a problem. Because she'll be off it by then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good planning. In my experience, they're still moody for about three weeks after the period as well. <laughs> wow. And then it starts That's a rough again. month, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> go up, have some bollocks, go, hey, I've looked at you before. You see him all right. Jordan. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's actually try and give the advice. I think Adam got closest. Well, no, I'm saying I've, I've looked got... at you before and you're all right. <laughs> Friday, seven o'clock. Don't bed. be bleeding. I'll bring the radiators. <laughs> Security. <laughs> you just, bollocks. you know, sl- <laughs> small talk, slowly find out bits about her, make sure she hasn't got a fella, and then just be like, look, I'd love to take you out. If you're up for it, one night this week, let me know what night you're free. I'll pick you up at seven o'clock. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> Think carefully about your answer. Square up, babe. What are we doing? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You Th- pick the day. Th- Thursday night, me and you. <laughs> I'll let you pick the day. I'll pick the side of the I'll face. I'll fuck us a fucking restaurant. I says, few drinks it's- afterwards. <laughs> and then, you know, if we're feeling up for it, we might have a little smooch in the back of a taxi. And if you grab my cock, I'll take that as a sign that you want a good fingering. You know what I mean? Yeah, she does. <laughs> She's going to get it. <laughs> Women are intuitive like that. This deaf old man who's flirted by a child. If you take your pants room. off, I'll know that you want penetrative sex. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? If you lie down and open your legs, legs and say, fuck me, I'll get that you want full sexual intercourse. Do you know what I mean? Use Eddie then. What's his name? Kynan. What? Sounds like a wrestler. What's his name? Kynan. I still can't know what you're saying. Kynan. <laughs> <laughs> Kai's nan. It's Kai's nan. It's Kai Humphrey's nan. <laughs> he wants to fuck a girl that works at co-op. Hello, love. Are you free, Friday? Because I'm going to fucking twat you. <laughs> rom- Swear up, girl. Romance in Blythe. <laughs> fucking... Kai and Gold, just any of them. Yeah. Don't mention radiators. <laughs> well, that was one. Dripping like a brick. <laughs> <laughs> Pipes what lagging? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> oh God! Uh, this is from anonymous <coughs> Wagwag Legs. Make sure you keep me anonymous. This is from. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Give him a name. 
Jake Gallant. <laughs> it's Jake Gallant. Is it? Yeah. I, just, I love how we make up names. <laughs> Good, isn't it? <laughs> this is from Kai Humphreys, Jake Garrett. Uh, wag Wag Lids. A collab? <laughs> sure. You keep me anonymous because I would be in some real fucking trouble if anyone found out. I'm a construction worker and I'm working on this new building for an insurance firm. Two months into this job, I've just realised that I've fucked up with some ground soil shit which basically means that anytime soon, people are going to realize and we're going to have to demolish and start again. Oh. This is a multi-million pound building. So if it links back to me, then I am fucked. What do I do to either get out of trouble or minimize how fucked I'm going to be? Help me, lads. Love the pod. Jake Garrett. Um, you need to go to a, like a car boot sale. Yeah. <laughs> I thought to say, I know where you're going with this. Go to a car boot sale. Is this two Get pints? a really old looking... What? Like um like a chalice or something, right? Uh bury it in the foundations, pretend to discover it, and then be like, guys, we're gonna have to knock this down. This is an ancient Indian burial ground. Look, there's a cup here. Right. Right. It's just this mug from the tea. Yeah. <laughs> so just first question. Just, his name on. It's a quid. just knowing where we <laughs> Number love... one, Dad, this has gotta be Indian. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's in St. Helens. <laughs> <laughs> Indians would have made it. Indians St. got Helens. a bout, mate. Yeah, they are cheap. Ancient Indians. <laughs> Ancient Indians. Got to St. Helens. They had ships, didn't they? Wow. Yeah. Before the Mersey flow. Yeah. Yeah, they mm. went round it. They got here, you know. And then went on the Leeds of Pool Canal. <laughs> stopped in St. Helens, buried the dead. Back off to India. Some cups. Wow. <laughs> they wanted to wash off, buried them. I'm a history fan and I haven't heard this. Here we go. We've, uh, we've got ancient in the outline there. You're a history fan and you've never heard about the St. Helens Ancient Indians? The, nati the, the nati Crusade? The Native Americans? No, Indians. People from India. No. They're in very, very on dodgy ground there, Daniel. Uh, uh, Indians and Native Americans are not the same. You think an Indian burial ground is people from, like, New Delhi? <laughs> the one in St. Helens is. Right. <laughs> And when did they come out? I just want to tap. When... I don't fucking remember. Oh, I think 2008. I remember all the 2008. <laughs> <laughs> just after the Euros. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or, here's a good one, learn how to fly, cash into the building. Yeah, there's been some problems with that in the past. No, no one's in it. Jump out before it crashes as well. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I think that's more complicated. Do the ancient Indian burial ground thing, <laughs> lads, lads, lads. What is this? <laughs> Plant a scroll as well. You know, like when you were in school, coffee. you used to make like yeah, coffee stained. Get some paper yes. from your local fucking staples, right? Big one though, no. like A two minimum, yeah. but not lined. Draw a map of the world, like but not perfect. If you're a good drawer, I'll fuck it up a bit. But it'd you know be I mean? like St. Helens, New Delhi. <laughs> that's all they knew, really. <laughs> Mersey Drawing flow. an arrow from New Delhi to St. Helens. <laughs> Not even And right under that, boat, route. And then get a bit of coffee, stain it, <laughs> roll it up, put it next to the cup. <laughs> the cup, the cup's got warm tea in it. New Delhi. <laughs> Do you have a tea bag in it? New Delhi, St. Helens, boat, route. <laughs> Loads of foreign muck. Here we are. <laughs> Oh. That'll work. Not Because then the construction paper. will have to halt yeah. due to all the conservationists. Are yeah. we just doing that or are we doing something else as well, like an artifact? We've got to be careful with that then because that's believable. The artifact is the cup. The cup. The, the cup. You get that from a fucking boot sale and there's loads of boot sales in St. Sandwich. You don't even have to go far. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, who is it? Tony Robinson. What's his name? Yeah. Time team. Yeah, Ted He'll Robbins. Come yeah. He'll come in. Who? <laughs> Tony Robinson. He'll come in and go, fucking hell, mate. This, this goes back hours. Close this site off. It's all getting knocked I out. love it how you believe in the power of uh, archaeology. Yeah. Like they're like, oh, we found something. Rip this whole building down. Because <laughs> archaeology <laughs> reigns supreme <laughs> in this capitalist. If it's an ancient India burial ground, they will. In St. Helens, they think about it. <laughs> <laughs> think about it. I mean, we get these in Prescott, but this is unheard of. Ancient yeah. from 2008. <laughs> <laughs> they probably still got Facebook soon to do his death. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so you died, yeah. 
Well, there you go, anonymous. <laughs> Problem <laughs> solved. Got the face today, you know. Do you know when uh, in Rome? <laughs> I was there recently. Yeah, when you're in Rome. Uh, next to the Colosseum, they were building like a fucking a Marks and Spencers or something, mm. right? Mm. And in the digging up of it, the ground to do the thing. Yeah, they found what? They found more like Roman shit. No <laughs> shit! And they so were they, surprised. So they, so they had to stop it. <laughs> Fucking, that must have been mine. Yeah. On the, uh, oh, they're trying Rome. to build a new tube line, I think it is. Right. So in But Rome, they found more shite and they're like, oh, we can't build this here. This is like, oh, Michelangelo got his dick out in this room or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Can't fucking build a train I, here. Honestly, making a museum. Oh, that hurt my brain <laughs> more than the ancient Indians. That bugged me. I don't know why. What? Yeah, ancient Roman stuff. Michelangelo, <laughs> something like that. What are you on about? He painted the roof, didn't he? Mm-hmm. He was a Tyler. <laughs> Michelangelo yeah. painted the Sistine Chapel. He did, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he about, got his dick in about Rome, only fifteen fifty. <laughs> I'd guess in the fifteen hundreds. What? Sistine Chapel goes back to fucking Jesus times, doesn't it? <laughs> Why am I annoyed by this and not the ancient Indians? <laughs> Why is that? Yeah, New when Delhi. When was the Sistine Chapel painted? Uh, built between 1473 and 1481. Right. That's close enough, isn't it? Before Christ, what happened? <laughs> if the, there's probably stuff from back then that they haven't found. Yeah. Oh, stuff it took like... me an hour and a half to find my keys the other day. <laughs> and he was looking. How do you build anything in Rome near the Colosseum? Be like, oh, lads, big news. And it's a bit of a shocker. There's ancient Roman stuff here. <laughs> Mad, innit? <laughs> we didn't know. <laughs> Fucking dickheads. How do you have known Michelangelo got his dick out in that room? Was it a toilet? Bit of paper. <laughs> he wrote on it. Yeah. Sorry, dick out in here. Sign. Best regards. Didn't he do a first dick pic and just put it somewhere on the ceiling? Michelangelo. I wonder if you took the first dick pic. Michelangelo. Google that. You know what I mean? And Bill Gates. It. Steve, yeah. Steve Jobs. Do you reckon it was a photograph or a painting? Ooh. Oh, ancient Greece. They you used to love a wang, didn't they? Ancient Greek pottery is full of dicks. Turkey have found the first ever dick pic. Oh. oh, shit. And it's from? My man there with the pipe. When's it from, oh. Steve? Uh, <laughs> this guy literally lying, pulling his knob. Well, we've got a date on it, Steve. Oh, it's ye old times. Oh, First. ye old times. Second the century days of yore. Days of yore, yeah. Second century? Yeah. Wow. Good one, that. Um, <laughs> last one, then we'll have uh, a break. Anonymous. Hi, Lids. Need some advice. Please keep this anonymous for obvious reasons. I cheated on my girlfriend with my male friend. We were away in a cabin in the woods on holidays as a group of friends, and a weird <laughs> drunk night escalated... <laughs> to us all being naked and talking about having an orgy. My female friend was responsible and then removed herself from the situation when it got too weird. But then my male friend started coming on to me and we fooled about. Me drunk beyond drunk went along with it and we sucked each other off for a bit until I stumbled out of the bedroom naked and passed out. The next day I woke up with the ultimate fear, (laughs) no shit, and guilt as, as both me and him had cheated on our girlfriends. I told him it was all a stupid joke and went too far, but the next day he admitted he wasn't sure if his feelings towards me are best friendy or something more, which explains his sexual forwardness. Help, Lids. He's my best mate, and I'm worried he might now have feelings for me and blow something up with my girlfriend, who he admits he doesn't get on with. I love my girlfriend and don't want her to ever find out about this. We've sworn sworn secrecy, but I'm worried. Love. You shouldn't have sucked him off then. (laughs) If I don't want people to like me, I don't suck them off. It's quite easy. Do you know what? I'm <laughs> worried he's got feelings for me, especially since we sucked each other's dick a bit. That's really the point where I was like, something's not right here. I'm suspicious. Hang on. Are we just mates? Don't you get any ideas? Glug, glug. He must have feelings because there's no way you be... No. How drunk do you have to get? Do you reckon you've ever been drunk enough to be able to... I'm not going to say me. Off. No, not yeah. me. Let's say Josh. No, Why? Why would we change it from you? Because I don't want to imagine you sucking me off. Well, why, why do you want to imagine me sucking our mutual friend off? Because I'm not involved. Do you reckon you could have a good <laughs> Yeah, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just say, you are now, it's you two. How drunk would you have to get before you're like, oh, they're noshing each other? I, right? I think Carla seemed me as drunk as it is possible a human being and to get. And he didn't I have even never even tried to l- suck his dick. He didn't even lick a ball. <laughs> Solid. If you ever did suck me off, though, if we were to... <laughs> 
<laughs> um, I would tell Serica straight away. Thank I'd be like, Carl's going around sucking dicks behind you. <laughs> and it was mine. But that's not the point. Would you I'd, let him finish? I'd tell your bed. What? I'd Hang on. Cool. Would you let him finish and then go, I'm grassing on you? I wouldn't. Gra I'd be like, lad, we need to tell her. How'd you finish just to suck her? What? When you, you either swallow it or spat it all out. Did you just have blowjobs explained to you? No. But, yeah. Oh. Wow, Carl, you really don't like talking about this, do you? No. <laughs> you just suck Rummy off. Ugh, no, he's a big man. I'm starting with Steve. Bonus. <laughs> bonus? I guess so. Bonus. If you are... are we playing bonus on our own pod? <laughs> <laughs> It'll lead to um, someone. Mate, know. you're in a fucking pickle here, kid. You're fucked. You gotta you gotta start shagging your mate and see if you like it or not. Oh, so that's it's you're gotham. fucking gay? And so is he. What are we doing? I think that could have done without the F in there. <laughs> You're both fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's fine. But just go and fucking bomb each other to within an inch of oblivion. They are you both. can't have pussy ever again. No, they're gay. What? Though. Unless you buy, which does exist. You what? really? Is that like Adam's conspiracy corner? Once you've Not sucked a the cock, there's got to be a bit of lag before you've lost some fanny. Yeah. No, once you're in the ping pong of it, I reckon once you're up to speed and you're like, do you know what? It's Tuesday. Fancy a fanny. I imagine. <laughs> I'd love to want dick, you know. I think it'd be so, like, make life so much easier to just. Would you want both? Because I... being bisexual, although you, there's a lot of stigma and you still get, you know, a lot of homophobic, homophobic abuse, if you're all right with that and you've got past it, I mean, to be able to be like, he's fit, she's fit, it must be fun. Yeah, it must be, yeah. But no, I, I, I think... Are you going full gay? Do you reckon they always like one more than the other? Like kids? Like 60, 40? Yeah. Like, what? Do you, do you reckon they, like... If you what do you mean, like kids? Parents of death, I've got favourite kids. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you said the parent thing clear enough. <laughs> yeah, all kids are bisexual. Intentional. That's a fact. Joke. You get to year nine. Uh, yeah, you must like cock or pussy more. Maybe not. I know some bisexuals. Uh, some of them are like, oh, I fuck everyone, but I only want to be in relationship with... Ah, oh, right. Catherine Bowart said that, I think. Yeah. She likes she, she only cleanses dates the women, but she fucks men. What did she say? She cleanses the palate with a cock, which is a fucking phenomenal way of putting it. Yeah. Yeah, these... these... But if, if all, like, sexual attraction is a spectrum, then, yeah, there will be people who are, like, bang in the middle. I like both equally. Yeah. But if I could choose, I'd be a cock monster, me. Oh, no, I'd be bye, bye, bye-bye. Baby, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'll just get I think off. I think that's on. enough, innit? <laughs> I've had enough. I don't know They're about both you. gay. Their birds need to know. They're just, not... It's not they're, they're, at they're at least bi. bi. Yeah. They're at least queer. What? Well, if you're you bisexual, you're queer, aren't you? No. Yeah. No. What is queer? Q's got its own letter in the fucking... What is queer? <laughs> you Can you Google what queer means? Queer is like you don't know. You just I just know there's something I queer. Think, I think they're in that ballpark. Strange, odd. Does not correspond to established ideas of sexuality ah. in general. Yeah. So they're just it's, everywhere. It's, it's not heterosexual, but it's not... Bi is not queer. They're different things. Uh, I don't think they are. I think if you are from the gay community or any of the LGBTQ+, I think, you, I think there is a self-definition -def of queer. I think that's... No, queer is its own thing. It doesn't encompass the others. That's why the Q's there. Yeah. Because Q isn't G, Otherwise, isn't... there'd be no need for the Q, would there? Because all, all L's, B's, G's and T's would all be Q's as well. I've got them as queer because it's peculiar. Sucking your mate off. And then be like, what? That is peculiar. Yeah, it is a little bit. Yeah, for now, they're probably queer. Until they figure it out. Yeah, you need to, you need to define I that I just letter. think they're gay. Do it again and see what happens. Do you know what? You could end up much fucking happier, mate. I know it, I know it sounds like you're doing the, oh, what have I done? Maybe this is... I don't know. Just explore it. Suck a dick. Live your life. You'd be fine. Who's this girl who's like home without the situation as well? Started with Ethan and got off. It's her fault. <laughs> <laughs> if you start as a gay orgy and then leave, you, you, she's like the David Cameron of fucking orgies. No, she started an orgy, left, made, and it, made gay. it gay. <laughs> that, yeah, exactly. Oh, but yeah. David Cameron's fucking, you know, he brought the Brexit on and he fucked off, didn't he? Yeah. Beautiful. She's David Cameron. And you're 
of gay film. orgies. <laughs> oh. And break time. <laughs> Live your life. Suck a dick. Hello, everyone. Time to talk about my absolute favourite sponsor. It's BetterHelp. What's BetterHelp, Dan? It's an online counselling service. You can get therapy without having the hassle of going to someone's office, having to arrange something, meet someone in pit person. They stink. You never know. Therapists can absolutely pong. You get to do it all online from the comfort of your home on a Zoom meeting. You get a therapist that's suited to you. It just makes it so much easier. It really does. I've been getting therapy for the first time ever this year. It's helped me an awful lot. He's I'm a new woman. Six nil up, which is great. That's how uh, it works. It helps you figure out what's going on in your head. We've all got stuff going around. We've all got stuff from the past that we don't know how to deal with. Signing up to BetterHelp means you don't have to travel for it. You get matched with a licensed therapist who specializes in your area of trauma, childhood stuff, relationship stuff, whatever it is Addiction. you need. And you can switch at any time with no cost to you if uh, the therap- if you feel like the therapist isn't a good match for you. And with us, if you go to betterhelp.com, that's betterhelp.com slash word 10, you get 10% off your first month. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash word 10. 10% good off. Good for you. Sort your head out. Good. Nothing anti-Jewish, by the way. There are a few of them listen now. Uh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> we had started there, Adam. Oh, have we? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just cut that. I'll remember. Cut that out. Yeah. No, that's Connor a- Burns is here! Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, just keep it to a minimum. I don't think you can't do it. Just, oh, you know. what a joke. I think that's a nice way to start, though. Yeah. Like, that's a positive. It's rules, isn't it? It's you rules. Like, when we care about our listeners, uh, you know? Any, if you are ones that from Jesus. any ethnic minority... They did kill Jesus. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but he was Jewish. Yeah. One of He's our one own. He's <laughs> one of their own. <laughs> Ali Kate. We kill our own people. He's one of our own. <laughs> what a start. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they uh, say. If you, you know, if you're from any ethnic minority and you've recently started listening to the podcast, write in, let us know that you're from that community and we'll do our best not to slag them off and to make you feel inclusive within our banter at the same time. Mm, you know what I mean? We'll, we'll rib you. But we won't like fuck. Like we won't. There'll be no hatred in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, no. Ribbed for your pleasure. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot um, of podcasts don't feel the need to say it. You know, specifically <laughs> on camera. Yeah. Which ones not to? But I just want all of the ethnic listeners to us to be feel, feel comfortable about it. Ethnic. I can't. Are we ethnic though? We are. To yeah. them. I'm trying not to read into like. Have you always done this disclaimer, or is it just for me? Or no. we know what the Scots are like, you uh, know what I mean? Sometimes we get a Scottish guy uh, in, and we have to cut so uh, much of it out. Like when Larry Dean was in, and he was being like really, really racist against South Americans, and yeah. we were like, oh, "Larry, do you, do you know the edit we've got on here?" Uh, the gay uh, eh? sloss come in, and he's obviously very like he's queer phobic. It's weird. Mm-hmm. He just picks the cue, like yeah. he loves everyone else, yeah. but it's just Why not? it's uh, we love the cue. So so I, it's and cue. I was noticing a pattern with the Scots, so I thought, you know. Just I'm making everyone feel comfortable yeah. before you go Who'd off you on one of your I'm glad you picked up on the Jews. <laughs> I don't know what it is about me, the way I walked in. Uh, uh, you are really white. You know? I, yeah. yeah, worryingly. Yeah. worryingly. Is there anybody you do hate? Uh, not as a group. <laughs> <laughs> like people Individually from, a lot. People from fuck. Kilmarnock? Yeah, fuck them. I, fuck them. Actually, I've done one of the worst fringe previews ever. I know. Called, fuck Kilmarnock. I know. Yeah, I've never been place. to Kilmarnock. <laughs> They they good they make good. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been to Rotherham. Uh, yeah, it's a Rotherham of the North. That's what we call it. Uh, you're from Edinburgh. I'm an Edinburgh boy. Originally yes. and still and currently. Yes. Yeah, you ever lived on. anywhere else? Uh, nah, nah. We lived at like suburban Edinburgh, is where I was brought Ooh. up. Uh, yeah, a part called Gilmerton, uh, which is. Gilmorton. Gilmorton, is that where you're from? No. Gilmorton. No. No? I have no idea why I got pointed on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gilman. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, shit. There's a great like snake that. shop there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gilmorton is a shithole, though. Like, it's uh, just like one of those little nothing, nowhere, edgy town places where oh. everyone's like either now, all my mates from school and that are either dead or in jail. Oh, all really? Of them? Oh, every single one. Of them. <laughs> I'm a real success story. <laughs> really? Yeah. Nah, like there's loads of yeah. Like my uh, so my mum's side of the family, which is all from that part of Edinburgh. There's loads of travellers in that part of the family. Another yeah. group that we're showing love to. Yeah, we like um, them. Yeah, <laughs> we um, do. They're lovely. We yeah, do. they're good. No, they're, do you? 
Yeah, they're always in Blackpool. They have a farmer's weekend there. Oh, yeah. oh right. My mum my used to go to like Appleby Fair and that back in the day. She was full on. That's their Glastonbury, isn't it? That's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Elton yeah, John's yeah. playing it this year. <laughs> it's Glastonbury, but for people that spin big teacups. <laughs> <laughs> they're all scamming each other. <laughs> so much you can leave. <laughs> um, but so there's a lot of wild shit in that side of the family. Um, like my... Uh, like they all, they kind of like my, uh, growing up, Gilmer was one of those places where people like, where are you from? And you say Gilmer and then they go. Phew. Oh, really? But that was never my experience because it was all my family that was making it like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh, I feel, I've always felt safe. There. <laughs> like, yeah, I get uh, that. Like people like think uh, the, the area I grew up in, Dove Cot, uh, it was, uh, it is rough and I accept that I, now. But at the time I was like. You know, it's all right. We've got a chippy. Got a couple uh, of. <laughs> you don't miss what you haven't got. I, you were happy there, so. It's got a, exactly. got a chippy. No, but I mean, he's not, he's not going, oh, we should live in Chelsea because he was not used to living in Chelsea. You know, it was originally George's chippy. Then Harry took it over, became Harry's chippy. Babe. Nina had the news agents the entire time. Nina. Did you live in Balamori? <laughs> <laughs> it's just the same. <laughs> God, the the What's the story? <laughs> Balamori. Mr. Kelly had a, a knockoff co op because it was called Mr. Kelly's Cooperative. Hi. Uh, but it was nothing to do with the co-op <laughs> uh, yeah, chain. Yeah. And uh, uh, there's a place at a shop up in Aberdeen called Singsbury's. I've seen. Yeah, oh, yeah, so yeah, we've, nice. we had a Nasda. Right, that's great. The best one though with is... A in, uh, in, I no, think... but it wasn't with a Z originally. Oh, it used it? to be N-A-S-D-A and it was branded exactly <laughs> like Asda, but with an N at the front of it. And then Asda got involved and oh, went down no. and was like, you need to change this. And he was like, go ahead, let's just fucking flip that S round. <laughs> you can suck my car. <laughs> But there's a, there's a great one, and I think it's in There was, Falkirk. hang on, no, I'm not having it. <laughs> there was a Nasda, there was a Nasda. Spell it with the S, Steve. Promise. Nasda, Naughty Ash. <laughs> it was, Naughty Ash is behind, the area behind our school. It is Balamora. <laughs> there you go, Na, that's it with Nasda's. the Z on. Yeah, but you it, can tell but, though he's going for the green theme. Yeah, yeah. see, so the green is left over from yeah. when it was Asda branded. Nasda. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, he's just the, put an N on the edge. That's on the corner, left. isn't it? By the roundabout. There's one, I want to say it's in like Falkirk or something in Scotland, and it's a cafe around the back of a big Aldi, and they, they've called it Backy Aldi's. <laughs> but like Italian spelling, so it sounds fancy. <laughs> There's a Halaldi. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Hello. <laughs> uh, type in um, Lytham St. Tans. Have you seen that? The town? What, the Latin? town? Lytham. St. Tans. So it's a Tans show. Lytham St. Tans. Tans. Bands, mate. Who's that top shit, by the way? Is it proper rough? What how, what oh. rough are we talking? No offence, but every time I hear Edinburgh, I go, oh, the most beautiful city in uh, the UK and, and culture and the fringe. Yeah. And then when people go, no, no, the other Edinburgh, I go to train spotting. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. Aye, I mean, it's not like train spot is like Leith and that sort of area, right? But like, it was just but old Leith before it got yeah, fucking gentrified. It, exactly. Aye. It was just, it was just like super working class, and every like everyone on my street, almost every single household was into something. Like they had a thing going on, whether it was like selling dodgy stuff, or just like my, I mean, my uncle lived on the same street as me, and he was like full traveller, right? And he lived on a mid terrace ex-council house and he had a f like two horses in his back garden <laughs> and in his back garden in his back garden like like it was like he had like a it was like a 20 foot by 20 foot square of grass and he had two like shetland ponies in it and he kept getting in bother with the council and that people kept complaining i remember i, I remember i finished it was a friday because i finished school on a half day right and i was walking down my street so it was like half one in the afternoon or something nice summer's day and he kept having bother with all his neighbors obviously he was a psychopath man he's dead now <laughs> right but uh he was uh, he'd like he tanned he robbed like every bookies where we lived and he was like a career criminal in and out of jail his whole life and uh, i was coming home and it was like there's like music blaring from the back of his garden and he ran out to like catch me as i was walking in the street i was young i was like 13 or something 14 and I was like, what, what are you up to? What's happening? And he was like, finally got the neighbours on side. He was like, I'm just smoothing everything out. And I was like, ah, it sounds like... And he was like, come on back. And I, he took me around. And it was like, all these like pensioners that lived in the street. And they're like going for it. Half on the afternoon, people are up dancing. He's got a big gazebo and that. And I was like, what's happening? And he went, 
I've been putting eckies in their tea. <laughs> <laughs> went, that's, that's between you, you and me, son. <laughs> I went, what? <laughs> At the t- <laughs> at the t- and they were like, it looked class to be fair like and he, he had he had a he had a gazebo covering his whole back garden he nicked it for being cute it was the one that the, the display on that was built he tied it to the top of his transit van and just drove away with it like a big kite <laughs> but, but it was so big that each each foot was in someone else's garden <laughs> <laughs> so they're all under this gazebo. Um, Are the police still there? I man, like he, he had a he had a horse drawn like he had a horse drawn cart in his front garden, and he, you like you'd see like sometimes he'd be driving through Gilmerton or the near area, and you'd be like, "What is all this traffic, man?" And you get up, and he's just like leathering a horse on his thing. Like he used to ride about on a horse drawn cart through Gilmerton. <laughs> He was, he was nuts, man. He got done for robbing a bookies and the police came to pick, like, they just knew it was him. Like, so they just... The police have been robbed. They like, can't answer them before. Uh, no, there was just horse shit outside. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's a trail of horse shit from the fucking Ladbrokes to his front door. Because he's following it like Hansel and Gretel. Yeah. Oh Up to his front uh, door. Like, who do you think we've done it? We don't know, we did see seven dwarfs hanging out. <laughs> But uh, they went. They went to his house and they're like, Adam. You know, they just knocked the door. His name was Adam. And like, Adam, and he he was like, came to the door and he's like, what is it? And like, you know, whatever, whatever, they, however they have to say it. You know, we're arresting you under suspicion of burglary or whatever it was or armed robbery. And then he just shut the front door on them and went into his house and he was in there for like two minutes. They were just standing on the thing and he came back to the front door with a life size cardboard cutout of John Wayne. And just put on his front step and went, Adam, they did it. He'd done it. And shut the door and just sat on the couch. And they're like, Adam, we're going to have to come in and get you. <laughs> he was, he's a psycho. And you man. said he, he's, he's not longer, longer here. Nah, nah. Su- surprise, surprise. Yeah, 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 it sounds like he lived John but he had, I, That was the first time his funeral, because they were travellers. <gasps> man, I wish I'd filmed it. It was sensational. Andy, Andy like, proper, like, It was the first time I've ever, it was open casket. Right, because they didn't, like, that's how they believe in doing stuff. Like, they're very much about, like, sending people off. Did it just pass of old age? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he yeah. settled down yeah, just yeah, after yeah, the yeah, John yeah. Wayne cut, cut out. It's funny so. what that does to him, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, um, I, I believe it was a huge heart attack. But it was illness. It wasn't yeah, like he got yeah. shot. Um, no, no, no. But uh, he, was, he was only, like, in his 50s, I think. But... Um, <laughs> We went there and it was like open casket and that, and it was such a bit, you know, like they do everything so big and over the top. So this, it was his casket, they didn't realise, but like by the time it was all loaded up and all that, it couldn't get through the house, through the door. So they had to get a guy to uh, uh, uninstall the front window of the house. <laughs> and we had to work as a team and like pass him through. My auntie had to do that with their telly. <laughs> the most aware I must think yeah. ever. That's, that's when you know you're working to go through yeah. the door because like in Dovey the, the front door and the doors of the living room were at such an oh, angle, like an angle yeah. that you couldn't get a, a, a 60 inch telly through it <laughs> <laughs> well, but it's you, unnickable it's an yeah, unnickable yeah. telly and that's not about it your bookcase should be bigger than your telly yeah was it yeah I don't so have you one. seen that challenge <laughs> did they say that in Dovey yeah have you seen that challenge where they put like a bar of gold in a yeah a box yeah, and so and you're like, it's like impossible. To, if, like, if you can get it out, you can have it. That's like your auntie's telly. Yeah, like absolutely. if you can get out of the flat, it's yours. <laughs> so what? Um, was you just like slot them through the window. They had to. I would like pass them through the window, uh, and there was a guy. The was, heavy like, as was, fuck as well. Oh my god, man! It was it was massive. There was like eight eight pole bearers either end. Passing two Shetland ponies. Other, two Shetland ponies. <laughs> he got pulled in and a. He got like pulled in on a horse drawn car, like into the oh the the pimped out like black ones full on yeah 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 and um and for some reason an old they had like an old fire engine or something in the procession. <laughs> I think was, it was like someone yeah. stole that on yeah. the way. <laughs> <laughs> but we had a guy the whole time we were there. There was just a guy playing the fiddle, <laughs> like standing next to him playing the fiddle, and I'd never I, I'd never <laughs> seen. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> This is two Shetland ponies, eight blokes, a, a, a coffin, <laughs> yeah. a guy with a fiddle, and a fire engine, and like hundreds of people because he's like hundreds and hundreds of people turned up, and uh, it was like it was on the news and all that because he was a bit of a figure, 
And because um, crime rates went down significantly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like there was a police procession on the way to the f- where he was getting buried. Everything like it was nuts because there was like people. There was going to be people there that hadn't you know be publicly been seen in a while and all that. Oh. It was sh- nuts. But uh, I and I was standing and the. <laughs> He was lying there, obviously, and they make you they make you look as alive as they possibly can. Like they use makeup and that. So it's weird. He didn't look dead. But people were like, Oh, he look doesn't he look great? Indeed. Like, <laughs> 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 but yeah, someone had tucked a half bottle of Glens in his <laughs> in his pocket, right? And then in his other one he had someone had put a fifty gram pouch of Golden Virginia. <laughs> And one of my cousins, I, I, I like lost it. One of my cousins came up. He was like, Man, "That's fucking banging in order." That like, I went, "How?" And he was like, "He's gonna get all the whitey wherever he's gone and realise they can't give him a rizzler." <laughs> <laughs> I, I once sled dogs for my funeral. Pull, up, pull in the coffin. Yeah, yeah, like, like by, a sled well, about twelve. It looks like you're having a one for me, you know. <laughs> How much do you want? I want dogs. <laughs> Tell us more about your uncle. That's <laughs> what he would have wanted. <laughs> nah, um, don't spend money on my funeral. I won't. Carl, what? why is it everything? It is weddings, <laughs> funerals, <laughs> christenings. He's just a frugal kids. man. It's just fucking that... kids showing off. Oh, I love yeah. Jesus. You do that for fucking free. Don't spend money on my funeral. If you spend more than 500 quid on a casket, you're a lunatic. Why? I'd spend like fucking two grand caskets. What if when you get to the afterlife? Bury it. What if you get to the afterlife and the the better your casket is, the better your gaff is? You get get there and you get to trade it in for the house. But like it's really skewed in in terms of... You've put people on earth. I've wasted their money on my how are, Introduced how are, capitalism yeah. to the afterlife. <laughs> how are we going to rent a fire engine with less than 500 yeah, quid? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Just, I actually know a guy who can get you one. Yeah. <laughs> pretty cheap. <laughs> Don't spend, uh, people who spend loads on funerals, it's mad. Oh, cool. Well, we'll make savings on yours yeah. and it'll go on his because that's yeah. going to go fucking big. What it? about, uh, would you just get like slid into the sea? No, I'm tired of People are doing that. What? You'd be dead. That's Bin Laden money. Nah, but people would. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, was, I don't know trend. if that was, I don't I don't know if that was necessarily a, at his request. No, who's doing that? Uh, that's it's getting more popular now. Burial at sea again because people are. Uh, they it's environmentally friendly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Are you giving food back to the fish or not? Like, aye, well, you're just going back to nature. Yeah. Oh, I've had okay. fish all my life. Now you can have a little gobble on me. <laughs> If it did it, if it did do that, the whale like I could only handle it. There was a a video went round my high school when I was there. Do you know those horrible videos get circulated of like no. beheadings and all that? Oh, uh, we had one. It was a guy, a guy getting sucked off by a fish. I've seen it. Uh, I've seen it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think getting sucked off by a fish. If it's the video I'm thinking of, is is a, a generous term. I, uh, he was using the fish as a flashlight when he, <laughs> yeah, I, he was fu- face fucking a fish. Essentially. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, so fish yeah. Like this. You made it sound like the fish was keen. <laughs> well, it like looked a, quite, it was romantically lit. It wasn't, <laughs> su- it wasn't <laughs> sucking him off. It was being made to suck him off. <laughs> Underwater. He wasn't sitting there. Potato, potato. No, it was dead. On. Oh, right. It was like this. Yeah. Can you ask like, him for it? <laughs> can you just not be buried at sea? I know this might sound a bit daft initially, but hear me out. Can I get like fucking Tutankhamun, you know, wrapped in all the fucking Andrex, yeah. right? <laughs> and then just put on a kayak in the middle of the sea. Mm-hmm. So yeah. just like that's like a Viking, oh, burial. Viking, Viking burial. Yeah, yeah. They and send you, you off and then they burn you. Yeah, I don't. I, I just don't want the burning thing. Oh, you just want to fuck off to like just, real? Yeah, just put me on. Just put, take me <laughs> to the boat <laughs> sinks. <laughs> yeah, just take me out into like the Pacific Ocean and just Pacific. kayak me. Pacific. Yeah. Not the, <laughs> yeah, not yeah. the Irish scene, it's just there. <laughs> no, no, it's quite pernickety no about it. Yeah. Keeps yeah. coming back to the tide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like. Adam Rowe was turned up on Crosby Beach again. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stinking. How long would you be, on the, you'd be on the, under the water in minutes, wouldn't you? But I wouldn't know that. No, you wouldn't know. I you and neither would like the people who've put me on it, because they just. <laughs> what are we pushing him out seeing is New York <laughs> no look burial no you, you yeah. throw him in a kayak you like gaffer tape him into it yeah and he can't come out and just fucking kayaks off. I don't know whether you remember from our lessons it's it's virtually impossible to roll to topple a kayak I'd be there for life in the Pacific <laughs> under yeah. how do you want to go What how's, what's the funeral looking like 
Me, mine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Obviously, uh, it's looking like, like he's been planning it all I week. Obviously, uh, you're very ill. <laughs> Tell I us want, what you want to. I would like to be burnt and incinerated. What's the word? Yeah. Cremated. 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 Any of the, all the same. I'd like, like to, to be, be burnt. I'd like to be, I just fucking, <laughs> like to be cut. <laughs> well, later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that's the move rather than boxed up. I don't know. I just don't. I think it. another underrated option Go would on. be, um, you know what uh, Sid from Toy Story tries to do to Buzz? Rocket to space. Aye. Rocket into the sky and then just blown up. Johnny Depp did that to... Amber Heard. Uh, <laughs> Amber Heard. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, that, was the, that was in the uh, the divorce. He gets to fire a rocket up her arse. I've won the court case on the rocket. You know, <laughs> yeah, you know, you know the drill. Why did you do that to his dog or something? Uh, no, I did it to um, what, the guy that he played in... Uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. The Captain Hunter Jack Sparrow. S. Hunter, Hunter S. Thompson, Thompson. Because they became actual mates. Captain. And yeah, Hunter S. Thompson. Ca 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 Jack Sparrow. Captain Jack Sparrow. Captain Jack Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fear and Loathing in the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah. In Tortuga. <laughs> <laughs> what, he blew his character though? No, he, but there was a real guy, but he played them in the film. And oh. the, when the real guy died, he asked if Johnny Depp would fire him at a rocket. And he did it for him. And where did the rocket go? It was like 200 grand or something. Where did the rocket go? It just went up and exploded with his ashes on it. Oh, his ashes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, no, he didn't no, just Steve, strap him to Steve, it. Yeah, that's you, what I mean. And whoa, Steve's Googled Hunter S. Thompson's death. This wasn't like a euthanasia. <laughs> yeah, this yeah, is yeah, what no. he did with his oh, no. dead body. He was that's high enough. He, died. he was high enough that he that's could it. have done that. Yeah, you know, yeah. like, things aren't looking good. This cough's going nowhere. Get me on the rocket, Johnny. Like, Get me on the rocket, Johnny. <laughs> Nah, I I want to. I don't want to be in a coffin either. Nah, this I'm claustrophobic. Pay for this, the plot. this sounds so mental because it sounds a bit shit, but but being stuck to a rocket and just being <laughs> fucking off a ship, so you're in the middle of the sea. Oh, a rocket off a off ship. Off like a container ship, so you're over water, so you're not like you know the blood's not going on fucking wagamamas and that. You can't be doing that in town. Seem, oh, I think yeah, okay. You seem uh, quite <laughs> intent on being put to rest at sea. Yeah, that's a, I, it just saves space, doesn't it? I guess so. Plus, he loves the Pacific. He always <laughs> yeah, has the, he's a loves that ocean. I do love big the water. I'm a water boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a water <laughs> boy. <laughs> the idea that you, you've always said it. I do yeah. love water. The idea You're a that water boy. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if you you'd want. say like water baby, wouldn't you? I'm yeah. a water baby. The idea that you Don't say that. quite <laughs> like a swim. Is the reason you want to be no, duct taped I don't, to I don't, a cat? I don't, I don't actually. He feels at home in water. Yeah. Yeah. I, do. The same. I want to be buried at sea as long as it's a hotel swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't want sand in my just, fucking ass crack for eternity. In fact, keep away from the just beach. Adam just that. getting launched down a flume wrapped in toilet roll. Siam. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. yeah. You want to go a firework off the wave pool? and Put thing. my dead body in the shark tank at the end of the fucking Tower of Power. <laughs> the last me against the window. The last people go past. Like, Who the fuck? The last thing that happens at your funeral is a sixteen-year-old in a lifeguard thing just looks at your body and goes. <laughs> <laughs> the ride's closed for ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, I think. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think I've changed my mind. I've always wanted to be buried on land, but I think buried at sea. Who, who does this? Is this like a, a funeral There's director? A... It'll be more expensive, won't it? Uh, the nineteenth-century navy. They do. <laughs> they did it quite a lot. Yeah. Slave ships, they were fans of it. Or, or do you reckon it's called the Bin Laden now? Yeah, yeah. You know, like the, I, 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 with the Undertaker, do you reckon he's like, right, do you want to be buried, cremated, or Bin Laden? Which one do you want? <laughs> Shot six times in the end. <laughs> in an arsenal <arsehole> kit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little known fact. He was killed in a full arsenal kit. <laughs> bear camp on the back. Wearing the <laughs> Chimpanzee boots, yeah, big. That was, he was, no, he was playing heads and bees in the yard with wives before it. If anything, his worst crime was that he was a full kit wife. <laughs> <laughs> bear camp on the back. 9 11, though. No. Yeah, bear camp 9 11. <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> yeah, he's a respected talent. Uh, yeah, he'd fly. Heads and bees with his wife. Oh, that was good. Some player. <laughs> what did you say? Nothing. Yeah, he'd fly in. Dennis uh, Bergkamp famously didn't fly to Arsenal games. He'd always yeah, he, I thought he was called the Flying Dutchman. Yeah, that's why no one suspects That's Dennis Bergkamp of 9-11. <laughs> clever plot, clever uh, plot. He was called the non-Flying Dutchman. Like, how was he? He's like, yeah. how could it be me? <laughs> <laughs> I drive. 
on the fairy. I'm a good baby. I am Dennis Burke. Do you think the pilots survived? That was his first giveaway, the fact he could mask his accent. Do you think the pilots survived? Dennis Burke, I'm dead. It won't make me. We know it wasn't. Could this be, could this be, what was it? Was it Carl's Conspiracies? Dennis Burke, I'm dead. Dennis Burke, Dennis Bergkamp was instrumental in 9-11. He just DB Coopered himself out the plane. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wonder why he didn't fly, because he was practicing. <laughs> Sorry, he Dennis. Was a, imagine, that would, I imagine we found like a flight simulator in Dennis Bergkamp's gaff. And he was like, no, I've, I swear I was just using it to get my confidence up. <laughs> and Start like, this conspiracy on the internet. It says, you've, it says you've practiced the flight over Manhattan 12 <laughs> times, Dennis. <laughs> and and you've never it. landed. And crashed every time. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot seem to get away from the towers. <laughs> can, can, does anyone know what Dennis Bergkamp's actual accent is? I can't I place think, it. Uh, it's be that. It's it's be, be, uh, hello, my name is Dennis Bergkamp. Dead to the West. Was he, was he Dutch? Oh, he played in the West. <laughs> Please put that in the trailer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Dennis Bergkamp. <laughs> Death to the West. I love Dennis Bergkamp. What a player, mate. I used to try and replicate that Nikos Dabazas skill. The flick round and yeah. all the yeah, time. Didn't mean it. It's one, of, it's one of life's great questions, isn't it? Didn't mean it. Did he mean it? Didn't mean that goal, but no one questioned 9 11. 9 11 could be. He didn't mean that goal, though. <laughs> Fluky cut. <laughs> Definite. Yeah. <laughs> Typical bear camp with the assist. He flew down 11. He was aiming for the Eiffel Tower. At the post. He's aiming for the Eiffel Tower. Both of them. Uh, <laughs> right, so... So... Who uh, sacked the Titanic? Uh, so... Uh, de- Add the that, could that, <laughs> how, how would you like to go? I'd like to be put into Dennis Bergkamp's plane as cargo. <laughs> <laughs> You'd never die. I, the road one? I want to get Bin Laden. No, you are right. I like that. Oh... Or just thinking of creative ways, like, and my mind, I th- I've just realized my mind now is not on funeral, it's sort of death. Yeah. Right? Oh. So, terminally ill, doctor's like, look, you've got fucking 12 hours to live, lad. <laughs> right? 12 hours? <laughs> Where's this doctor been? <laughs> He's how, on a break. How long have yeah. you been ignoring a lump on your foot that it's 12 hours on, to live? But you're lucid enough to understand. Yeah. And you've got 12 yeah. hours. That's yeah. a quick it's drop funny. off that. He yeah, goes, yeah, someone's put a fucking bomb up your ass on <laughs> in your sleep. You need a doctor to I'm tell you. It's going off <laughs> in the hospital. It's going off. Yeah, yeah I went in for a routine. Bad camp. Uh, tooth removal. <laughs> How should I say tooth removal? <laughs> someone's put a bomb up your asshole. We you can't get it out because there's too many. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's a fucking mess down there, mate. So <laughs> <And that's laughs> mainly the idea. Um, <laughs> Twelve hours, then you're gonna die, Mister. Mister. Right? Rule. With, uh, Doesn't matter what you're dying of, does it? Mr. It's Rowe, all about the the. We've the ran game. every test, Mister. Rule. <laughs> we've ran every test. We can't um, stop the ticket. I'm afraid you've got quite possibly the worst case of bomb up the arse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've seen in my long career. <laughs> Who did it? What? Oh, there's another conspiracy. Yeah. Uh, luckily, on the scan, the timer did show up. <laughs> you've got twelve hours. <laughs> I'm thinking plane crash. How quick are you getting this plane? With a bomb yeah, up your ass, you're getting through security. What do you mean? I just go to a, like a little airport. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not getting a fucking commercial flight. Yeah, oh, he's yeah. doing a bird camp. I'm spending all me like I've got 35 bill. Remember from the first half. Yeah, I'm buying a plane. And I'm like, look, give me the keys, and I'm going up, and I am just gonna fucking nuke that plane, <laughs> just where no one else can be harmed. Just box me off, just in the middle of the desert somewhere, somewhere near Blackpool or something. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, or just into Blackpool. What a liberating way to go that would be. Adam Rowe and four off. camels. Yeah. Right. The Have camels of Blackpool. I showed a video the other day on Facebook and some fellow was uh, Facebook living his landing on a plane in, I think it was Kuala Lumpur and the plane crashes. So it literally goes from him smiling, looking out the window, it's about 300 foot in the air, to oh, screaming and then... You can just see flames next to the phone that goes off. I feel like that's... Where was that? Uh, it, was, it was on Twitter. He it? was flying? No, he was a passenger. Like a go- <laughs> <laughs> pilot. <laughs> just going to land it. Well, oh, I thought it goes from... Like, like, not a small plane, a commercial plane. Yeah, so it goes from Facebook it, and it goes from like, oh, we're landing to screaming for the second to just total silence, just to crack on a fire. It's horrible. I, uh, have any use, do you, any of you know Gus Limburn? Yeah. The comedian up, up, up Scotland. Uh, I'd done a drive to Aberdeen with him once and... 
He's he's like a, I love Gus, but he's a legit sociopath. Like sociopath. I like just yeah. has no feelings. Yeah, uh, usually great comedians yeah, as well. So good and like a great a great laugh for a long drive. But I I didn't know really what live leak was, and uh, on the drive to up to Aberdeen, he just kept showing me vi- like leaked footage of people accidentally dying, and I've never seen anyone laugh at something <laughs> so much in my fucking life. There was one where it was a guy, and he was a he was an escapologist, like the you know like they t- put themselves in like uh, yeah. straight jackets and shit. And it, the guy was like, he was in a straight jacket, and his hands and arms were bound, and he was filming himself to see if he could like beat his record. But he was lying in his bath with the bath water oh. filling up, and there's a moment where he just goes like, mm, mm, and then he, he realizes he's he's fucked it, and. He starts jittering and he goes under the bathwater and just stops. And when I tell you that I looked over at Gus and he was fucking crying laughing. <laughs> and tear, he was like, ah, what a silly cunt, eh? <laughs> He's like, so funny, someone's going to have to come home and go and like go into the bathroom. He's just lying there wrapped in a big bin bag, the stupid cunt. There's like a black leather thing. <laughs> God. There's another great but one. It's, uh, but genuinely, of all the things you... I know it's bad. I know yeah, someone's yeah, lost yeah. life. But there is an element of, you silly cunt. But also, someone, whoever found that, found his camera and went, enough time has passed. Yeah, release it. <laughs> we can laugh now. Upload it. <laughs> I get it's what he would have wanted. Uh, <laughs> there's another one. There's a guy holding on. He was like another stunt man. Uh, this one's just on YouTube. And he's holding on to a bar underneath the plane. And he's attached to the plane by a wee like chain, and it's like you know the amazing Michael or something. And he comes out and he's got like a <laughs> good name. <laughs> he's got like a fake little um, the uh, evil can evil like jumpsuit where we cape and that. Yeah. And he's holding on to this plane. It's like a little tiny dual engine plane, and he's holding on to it. And they're like, right, we're getting. It. He's up to eight thousand feet or whatever, and the chain snaps. So he's just hanging on by his arms. <laughs> And the last Your noise. <laughs> this one's funny. The last noise he makes is the bitchiest little sound. He, he realizes he's not strong enough, and he just goes, "Ah!" It's <laughs> like, can you imagine? That's the last noise you make. <laughs> oh, I'd say something really odd, me. Yeah. I yeah. Uh, fuck this. No, something like it's buried under the patio. <laughs> And then wink. Do you mean watching Brooks Harvey <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Corkill did it. <laughs> you found the, the busies. <laughs> <laughs> imagine quoting Jim. Imagine how confused people would be. <laughs> if you used your yeah, last line. Yeah, a bit line. of a bunged off nose. <laughs> <laughs> imagine I'm using th- your last line there. No, what the fuck? Oh, can we watch that video again in the interval? I love it so much. <laughs> That would be class, man. To leave, to leave Earth, we just leave a big minging mystery for your family uh, to unravel. If I ever killed myself, which I don't think I'm going to, but right. the ass. I'd love to leave it as like a big murder mystery. Uh, murder mystery. Yes, yeah. suicide. Mystery. How just, well are you killing yourself? What? Just accuse someone. Right. <laughs> just the last. leave clues that make it look suspicious. So instead Trying of making su- it look like someone's made it look like a suicide. Instead of a, oh right, okay. You know what I mean? Mm. So you're not leaving like an anti-suicide note where like I did not kill myself FYI Ooh, no that'd be a bit bang on that. Two, two, two on the nose yeah that'd be a yeah. bit bang on one right. I didn't kill myself by the way I did kill myself yeah well there's something what, how are you gonna do it like, I'm just gonna make it look like you know yeah. like there's been a struggle uh, make it look like there's been a struggle signs of forced entry all that stuff in your I'd be getting in fucking massive arguments with people over really serious <laughs> stuff for weeks in the yeah. build up to he's it he's cutting in nine pieces loads of suspects Cutting in now? nine bits. <laughs> Adam's got 12 hours to live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Cut, cut in nine bits and sellotaped into a suitcase. Oh, Classic just, suicide. <laughs> <laughs> Shot Cla- himself in the back of the head six, six times. <laughs> yeah, That'd be fucking unbelievable. Would you, wouldn't try There's and frame a, me, would you? What? Wouldn't try and frame me. It depends why I've got to the point I'm killing myself. I feel mm. like if I ever get to the point of killing myself, a large part of it is going to be your behaviour. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I heard a story about a woman somewhere in, it was like New York somewhere, and she w- worked in a, a hospice, and there was a really old woman, never really had any family. She just took to her, she f- like never got visits or that. So this nurse woman just became really friendly with her. She was just this like nice, quiet old woman. She says, and then when it was time 
they were like, she, she's going to die. We're going to switch her off. She asked for that woman to be in the room with her because it was like the closest thing she had to family. And she was in there and she was holding the woman's hand. And she said the woman was like their whole career. She was a nurse at whatever, like big hospital somewhere in New York. And like right through the 40s and 50s and that. She said in her last words right before she like just shut her eyes and went, she was like, we swapped so many babies. And then that was it. Oof, gone. She's like, yeah, we swapped so many babies. Like <laughs> just in, died. in the hospital? Yeah, like she was just like giving it. folk the wrong kids. That happened. The wrong the, babies. That genuinely happened a lot back then. Aye. So do you remember, like, we, people might be kicking about now not knowing. People will be. Just like one, one black kid in a white house and be like, I wonder what. <laughs> they should have had an inkling though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the signs were there. <laughs> I'd hey, love to leave on something Chinese like that. Though. Love. What did he do now? Just tag them. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? Spray paint on the back. What did he do to babies now? To, they like, brand them. Chip them. <laughs> what did he do? Like cattle. Because <laughs> they're all in like that like big gaff, aren't they, together? Yeah. I think they just no. don't. I think they have cameras. No, hang on. That's what they do now. No. Do you think a maternity ward is uh, about 36 babies behind a window? Yeah. That, that, mm. that doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> Why? Yeah, it what? does. I've seen it in friends. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not a parking lot. It's not like where we're going to leave these babies. <laughs> so what? I mean, the mum's right there. We could leave the baby right next to the mum. Nah, we need to get to the sideboard. We'll have to <laughs> put them in a big hold area. This is what you're thinking because you're used to your private healthcare in the NHS. Stand, they're still in big <laughs> yeah. rooms. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no, not even shit, there's like, not hospitals. Yeah. You're what there's, not even them there's not even beds now in the NHS. They're just lying about the floor, rolling <laughs> about. Yo, that's yours. Uh, like, uh, what, there's what another one. Then? What were they? Oh, very old fashioned. But uh, it's what TV uses and, you know. Yeah. You know, I don't, I'm just telling you from the point of view of someone who's been there, there isn't just a big a waiting area of babies like, which one do you want? That one looks a bit gimpy, doesn't it? <laughs> Get a healthy one. Yeah. <laughs> but that is your God. one. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, that was no, a good no, one. no. Uh, You're not mixed race. Yeah. No, I'm here first. Yeah. Dibs. Daddy's yeah. raising a little athlete. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, would you do that, Dan? What? Say you gave birth, yeah. Laura. Say I gave birth. Laura's gave birth. Yeah, like... I'd want an athlete. He's already a fucking achiever. Get no. out of my arsehole. No, she's knocked it out. Bosh. Your arsehole. That's what he's coming out of. I don't know. Where's yeah. my baby coming out of? Probably a cesarean. Oh, uh, <laughs> thanks for leveling me out with that. Uh, they'll just cut it out of your womb. <laughs> Dan, that's absolutely ridiculous. That's shitting out a baby. <laughs> it's coming out of your tum tum. <laughs> no, Laura. I mean that's pooper for you. They can do wonders. <laughs> Laura's done it, done the deed again, but the baby's a bit like you're like, oh god, his eyes look a bit mad. Right, Ginger. He looks a bit fucking tapped, and he's lying there. Like, yeah, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> and there's one next to it, and she goes, oh, "Which one's yours? I got mixed up." What, and there's one next to it weightlifting? What? <laughs> Is that Dostoevsky? Just having a read. <laughs> Three days old. I was like... No, he's, like he's lying there like, oh, I'm all cute and little, isn't that? And your fella's going, hey. <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> yeah, would I have done that two and a half years ago? No. <laughs> There's no one reading next to Jack. How he you? is mental <laughs> and ginger. How far into having your kid, if the hospital phoned you and like, we fucked up. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. How, if, if your kid was like nine, we'd just be like, ah, we'll just keep this yeah, one. Yeah, that's your kid then. Aye, we'll just keep this one. I think... But if it's like six weeks, you go, ah, this one's actually a bit of a fucking... I think it's probably nine months, you know? Right. I think, like, because obviously women carry babies like nine months, kind of. So... Well, I mean, anyone nine, can carry a ten. baby out of them. Yeah, totally. <laughs> about, yeah, <that's> about, <laughs> about seven and a half months true. where he's yeah. from. So... <laughs> <laughs> so... That, like it's been yours for nine months. If you've had one less than nine months, then you've had yeah. that one less time than you actually had. So then you'd want to swap back. But yeah. after nine months, you'd be like, "Fine, just keep it." What's the yeah, What's the warranty? Thank you for yeah. that, Papa uh, Row. Uh, nice. It was nice. It's good. It's good I system. Mean, that, that's it. That's it makes it. sense. Hey, like it, if you've had it in you longer that longer than it's been out. Also, I think it would depend on the kid, wouldn't it? Like if you get to eight and your kid's just a bit thick. <laughs> Getting in trouble in school, being a gobshite, and they were like, "Do you know what? There's this kid that's already won the Nobel Peace Prize, and it's going to uni next year. Yeah, you get yourself that intelligence, and it's actually your one. I'd be like, yeah, swap them back. Get what yourself a little. Greater. But if I've got a little mini Leo Messi who's fucking nutmeg and teachers and everything, I'd be like, this is my kid. <laughs> what have you found out? It was Greta Thunberg, because uh -huh. she's gonna win that, isn't she? As a youth, yeah, she's twenty-one. 
She is <laughs> now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Your kid's 21 <laughs> yeah, He's yeah, a bit yeah. of it at the ball Guys I don't know how we dropped the ball on this one But your daughter we don't, We've we given you a 9 month old baby Your daughter is actually a 21 year old autistic <laughs> From Norway Swedish girl Sweden, eh? You wouldn't believe what know. she's been up to <laughs> Fuck them fucking horses right. <laughs> Yeah I'm keeping my ginger baby She potentially got A human trafficker done as well How dare you Greta. Oh <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah. What? Because she went to war with uh, Andrew Tate. Oh, oh yeah, Andrew Tate. Top G. Right. Andrew Tate. The guy I live my life by. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, she she had a little spat with him on Twitter and he fucking buried him, made him like a cunt. And uh, now he is in prison. Uh, <laughs> who's out now? Oh, he's out now. He did three months. Uh -huh. Yeah. But they're still going after him, aren't they? Yeah. Because he's exposing the Matrix. Because of his pizza <laughs> box. That's what got him done. Yeah. 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 That's what got him done. He posted a picture of a pizza box and it had the address of the pizza place on it so they knew where he was. And that was a Romanian pizza box and he was banned for being in Romania. So when he found out on the reply, he was like, he's here, let's go and get him. Christ, I bet Romanian pizza is shite, I know. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way that's good pizza. I don't know, you know, because the Romanians have ties to the Roman Empire and Roman pizza is quite good because uh -huh. they're Italian. Oh, they're the OG gypsies yeah. as well. Yeah, Romany. Uh, can we say that? Bit Romany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh, can. can. It's you? my privilege. But you're not a traveller? <laughs> yes. I'm a traveller adjacent. <laughs> He's dead Just because I've not got wheels doesn't mean <laughs> it's in the blood. <laughs> it's I've, <going> to <laughs> I, I, I've had you, if you'd been to that funeral, you're a traveller. Right. Oh, is that like uh, that's how it works. Honorary membership. Uh, the, uh, the, it was like being close to the centre of the sun. The power of traveller was so strong. <laughs> Everyone there just left and went, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> we can't do that. Do you drive, eh? <laughs> <laughs> the audio listeners, that was all Connor. Oh, oh that's fine. I'll, uh, they're sound people. They're good people. Hey, he's got people. the blood in him. He's all yeah. right. He can do it. I can, I'm, I'm, I'm Mang the Cant. That's the wee secret language. Oh, there you what go. What was that? Mang the Cant. It's like I speak the that's lingo. Am I in the cunt? What? Mang the Cant. It's like, I, 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 like you'd be like, do you Mang the Cant? There's different versions of it over the UK, like different dialects, but you'd get you'd get by. Like there's loads of wee words that my mum uses them a lot. What's the language wants, called? Mind the cat. Mind the cat be like, can you speak? I'm going it? on tour to your uncle. Mind the cat. Aye. Not mind camp. Mind camp. Can you say some words in Gaza? I uh, so like <laughs> um, Gaza. So sad. So sad. Like if my mum would be like. Yeah, my mum uses it to like roast people in front of them. Go on. She'll be like, mm, Deke the Mortis Takeys. And it's like, look at the state of her shoes. Dig the Mortis Takeys. Deke the Mortis Takeys. That's not that much takeys. of a roast to say in a different language. I can, I can decipher that. Dig as in, have a look. Aye. At the. Mort as women. Woman's Takeys. Takeys like, is true. Them shoes are going to take aye. her somewhere. Dig the Mortis Takeys. Does make sense though, doesn't it? It does make yeah. sense. That make, it's kind of scouse. Get on that the most well, like a bit, another big thing is is is, is, is gadget a thing in here, like for a guy. Gadget for a like guy, a, like a like, like a scally, a, like a guy a gadget. Yeah. No, That's a big John one. Ed. And like guys are always get called gadgets. But I've heard like I've heard uh, like a chaver in the new in the nah, north. Like no, just, just be like blood. guys. You be a like, lad. You like look at that chav. Like look at that gadget. That's just a guy. There's loads of wee words though. I've, I've, I know bits and pieces. My mum can have like full conversations in this mad made up accent. But it's so funny though, because her family is literally like, like half of them are like no fixed abode. Like they're just living on the road. Are you describing Scousers? <laughs> I know loads of Scousers with no fixed abode, but we definitely could have a full conversation that no one else in the room would be able to get into. No fixed, do you know any, any people with no houses? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Mad. I don't. It's here in town. Yeah, but you don't know them, do you? No. Are you aware of homeless <laughs> people? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no homeless yeah. people exist. Have an accent, yeah, so yeah like people with no houses who don't even make I do know sense. a few people with no fixed abode. Do you? Yeah. They get mail sent to the mates' houses. Bad men. Uh, not always. <laughs> Just like, it, it, they were always like career criminals, but it was never like any My alpha had no fixed abode when he I and mean, my mum split up for a bit. He was staying in my aunties and my uncles between them. But yeah, obviously, they've got their own lives, so he's in the way a little sense. bit. Yeah. And then my mum had a mate called Gainer. And uh, my mum and Gainer mm -hmm. fell out. Yeah. Because Gainer and Billy, her husband, yeah. let me dad use their house for yeah. his mail. 
And my mum seen that as a sign of betrayal because she was like, you're helping my ex fella yeah. not sort our problems out and be here. So I'm not sort And they never spoke again. Shit. Get out. Wow. So, <laughs> well, we settled that score. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Gainer. Like picky blinders. <laughs> Gainer. So and mean, Billy. Is any, is any, it's, not a, it's not a very popular one. Some mad names on that, my mum's side of the family, because of that as well. My mum's sister was Euphemia. Femi, for short. Euphemia? Euphemia. That sounds yeah. like an old illness. <laughs> she died. Oh, she She's died. not going to believe it. Gain has got Euphemia. She's oh, got God. the Euphemia. <laughs> again. Terrible case also of Euphemia. Can I just take her to the West End? <laughs> <laughs> I got Euphemia tickets. <laughs> <laughs> we under 23. Yeah. It's the new Hamilton. <laughs> Euphemia. Um, I need a break. <laughs> But, uh, All right, let's have a break. We're going to have a break, Connor. That was fucking <laughs> blinding, mate. <laughs> All right, lads, just a quick one to remind you that not only am I going on tour all over the UK from October through till March and all over Europe in September, but for the first time in a few years, I am taking a show to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. It is essentially a work in progress before me tour. It will be the same show that I take on tour. I'm doing the show every day at 9.55 p.m., at Monkey Battle, you can get tickets at edfringe.com right now. Go there, search my name, come and see me in Edinburgh. Tickets are as cheap as the venue would allow me to make them. I'll hopefully see you there. There's a couple of dates that are very close to being sold out already. And look, if you don't buy tickets, Wallace gets it. Now, I don't want to harm this dog, but I will if my show is not sold out by this time tomorrow. Part four, where are, four. Where are we in the podcast? It's the last bit. All right. <laughs> uh, Connor. Yes. Everyone will want to know where you are at the Edinburgh Festival. Adam, Adam's just done a little advert for his Edinburgh run and nice. his tour. We Beautiful. all just enjoyed that. Where mm. are you at the Fringe, I'm my at friend? Just the Tonic Nucleus. Uh, it was its first time being a venue last year and it was fine. <laughs> so I thought, <laughs> and that'll do. And then I, I, I hate paperwork. So they're like, do you want the same time, same room, bigger capacity? Because they've got planning permission this year. Nice. Yeah. What's um, capacity? Hundred. Capacity rocking. Hundred. Uh, One ten, but you can only sell a hundred. I think. So that's it. And it, now it's got a fully usable fire exit, unlike last oh, year. Oh, that's cool. That's why it was a 60. So just Tonic Nucleus doing every night, basically. What time? Half eight. Beautiful. Show's called Vertigo. Is that the only selling point? It's got a fully working fire exit. Sure no, no I, I, I'll be there. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and also, that's more than you get a lot of fringe venues. Yeah. It was the reason why it was only 60 cap last ah, year. Right. Couldn't They couldn't, because of the, I don't know. Um, the fire exit, but uh, it's now at 100, which is good because it felt good at a 60, so I think it'll be good this year. And you're saving four and a half grand on accommodation. Exactly. Nah, yeah. Is. Although that is a sad thing when you realise I'd probably make more money if I just rented my flat out <laughs> and quit comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my career is a giant financial burden on me. Have you not got a spare room? Uh, I do, but... My, uh, you don't want to put a fucking comedian in your house. Well, that's it. My, also, my other half has like an actual job. She's a lawyer and she doesn't want some fucking wreckhead getting in at three in the morning. Because like, I love I love Mickey Bartlett. He's a very good mate. But he would put, he up, a, put up a thing. He was like, anyone got a room? I was just like... Just, I do. I've got do. an Airbnb for the month, mate. Oh, yeah. Okay, got a little discount by going, listen, girl, take it for the old month off you, you know what I mean? And she nice. was like, yeah, you can't have that much off. There's, and I was like, fucking sort it out yeah. now. Oh, wow. <laughs> he booked Airbnb There's over a... the phone. <laughs> I actually booked Airbnb over WhatsApp. Really? Yeah. Like, Spoke to her on Airbnb. I was like, uh, I want your flat. <laughs> I want your flat <laughs> on your back. Friday, 7 p.m. <laughs> I'll be in your flat. <laughs> the phone Don't be there. I was what like, I want a discount. And she was like, well, if you want a discount, you better take this number and talk to me elsewhere. And I was like, oh, she wants to fuck. <laughs> You're adding that Just tone. Just say it. Yeah, so you better take this number and contact me elsewhere. That's it. <laughs> when you like, go, you better take this. <laughs> that was oh, a voice note? Yeah. I'd be like, uh, I refuse oh, to be... Oh, you want it all month long. <laughs> I refuse to be taken to a platform where I'm not blue ticked. <laughs> yeah. 
right. <laughs> Send no, me a you. fucking voice note. Uh, wait, because I don't know why, like, what part of Edinburgh are you in? Are you quite central? I'm on Jeffrey Street. Great. Yeah. Jeffrey Street's good. Good, good barbers Sounds on cute. Jeffrey Street. I'm on Jeff- right, it's right Jeff- by Monkey Barrel. Street. I'm in Monkey Barrel yeah, yeah. in the comedy club room. Perfect. Perfect. I could, s- like, I reckon six minutes, yeah. I could be out of bed and on stage. Are you going to test that theory <laughs> yes, as well? <laughs> yeah, most days. <laughs> what time is stage to time? Ten. What time <laughs> is stage time? Five to ten. Oh, that's, a, that's an afternoon There's... nap that's gone wrong, isn't it? No, but I might go and have a little chill before my show. Have you a sleepy chill? I didn't say I'm sleeping in the bed. Oh, I'm just yeah. in the bed. Okay. I often get in my bed. Even Don't when I'm not come sleeping. and knocking when Jeffrey yeah. Street's rocking. <laughs> I, 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 there's another thing I was going to say, especially something at the fringe. Aren't you glad that you're good at this job? Because that is when you get to meet people and you go, why the fuck are you still doing this to yourself? <laughs> Like people who are like, oh, I'm sh- I'm in an eight room flat share, but that's for the first two weeks, and then I'm just I'm staying in a tent at a field next to the airport, <laughs> and you go fucking stop, but you're obviously not good at this. Uh, look, I haven't been paid for the gig all year, but I'm doing seven <laughs> shows every day. Uh, I start uh, at I- half eleven in the morning, go all the way through till one o'clock in yeah. the morning. A few swift ones to the loft bar. <laughs> um, Owned by three, yeah. back up to start at half eleven again. That's Talking. me every day. I am taking the third Monday off to every show. Yeah. The other five are still running. <laughs> I am after forty-seven flyers to wait yeah. four hours a day each. Uh, I, I am literally crippling me and my <laughs> poor wife's life. I've remodeled the house again, as I do every July, and I can't wait to get up there and be part of the madness. See you soon. Two stars, Chortle. <laughs> Across the board, yeah. all seven shows. Uh, that guy exists. Uh, yeah, we they, know a few so of those we're all guys. picturing someone. Oh my we? god, I know who mine is. I'm not going to say. I don't, <laughs> I don't think he's allowed in the loft bar. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's a woman. You can find them in a lot Just of loft. It's very progressive. Yeah, yeah. Mine's good a woman. representation. Exactly. Yeah, there's a lot of women that don't deserve to do comedy as well. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and that's equality. Um, no, Anyone uh, can be shy to comedy. Yeah. Even women, women <laughs> trans people, blacks, whites, <laughs> Asians, Jews. Everyone can be shy, <laughs> and men as well. <laughs> That's equality. <laughs> um, no, but yeah, and well, the, the other one that trans Jew. the other one that pisses me Could off. Could be great. The other one that pisses me off is when they say when they they say producing. When they're like, oh, I'm doing my own show, but I'm also producing three other shows. Like, no, you haven't. You've you've put on a fucking mixed bill that no one's going to go to <laughs> in, a sh- in a pub. You're not producing the Yeah, show. I'm part-time yeah. comedian, full-time producer now. I am flying for 47 shows <laughs> what, every day just to cover my living one. expenses. What's your, uh, what's your professional opinions on people, stand-ups using directors? Uh, um. Well, I have one. <laughs> They're both big fans of it. I have one. Uh, I, I never said anything, but I'm just genuinely. Yeah, but the fact you asked the question, uh, yeah. it's loaded, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I just can't afford one. <laughs> it's. Uh, I always sort of looked down on it Aye. until I used I still one, do. and Aye. it works, so it's good. <laughs> I think you need someone to tell you like, oh, you stand weird when you say that. Don't oh, no, do it's, that. It's not, it's not that. It's just changing. It's looking at it and going, why are you even saying that sentence? Yeah. Like yeah, the yeah. audience don't know why that's there because yeah. you haven't explained it or it doesn't fit or do, whatever. Do you know who is? He's an amazing writer for himself. Hands down, one of the hardest people to write with is Tom Stead. Because yeah. he can only write in his own voice. Yeah. I'd, I'd write in sessions like with him during lockdown. And I'd be like, all oh, right, uh, I've got this stupid joke like where I was in Australia, a woman comes up and asks me for directions. And then he, but he goes like, let's just stop there. <laughs> it's like, what's her motivation? <laughs> and I was like, well, she's asking for directions, try to get somewhere. She's like, where is she trying to get? And just, what, a woman? What is she? She could be black. She could be a Jew. <laughs> I'm like, I can't say any of that stuff. <laughs> I was like, ah, this black Jewish woman came up and asked me for directions because she was trying to get... <laughs> this woman asking for directions, Tom. Um, um, he's a... Uh, the nucleus, half eight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, aye, sorry. Nucleus, half eight. And uh, then I'm going on my first little UK tour. Where are you going? September, October. Uh, so far, we've got um, Manchester, Frog and Bucket. Nice. We've got, uh, we're going to have Laughter House in Liverpool. 
Uh, we're going to have Glee Club Birmingham, Stan Newcastle. Nice. Uh, a London date, but we're, that should be sorted this week. And then a bunch of Scotland dates. Right. Oh, the the uh, Connor's website is in the episode descriptions. Shall we do some prep, la boys? Explain. Hit your wife with a shovel. Overrated, underrated. You get it. Just go yeah. in the paint. Either way. Uh, should we do speed round on this? Yes. I fancy doing a little bit of a speed round just because they're not always great and I just... Oi, here we go. <laughs> I've missed it. Brett Phelps says, duty free, underrated, overrated. It's all shite and often more expensive than in a standard shop or Amazon. Good for Siggy's, apparently. Good for Bifters, that's it. I like the I like the pageantry, though, because it's like you feel quite guilt-free. Something about being in an airport doesn't feel like real money. Yeah. yeah, no, I do you know, know what, I mean? what you and mean. I like you're about to go on holiday in a good headspace. Now nah, I, I, I stand by you. I, I don't get it on the way out though. That's what I, I don't get Aye. it on the way out. Like, of course you want all these extra baggage to lumber into a plane with you, because you're usually going somewhere where booze and stuff is cheap, innit? Mm. Like, I don't get it on the way out. And I understand people buying like a big bottle for the room and all day for like pre drinks when they're getting ready and stuff. I just like people who cream themselves over it. People who are like fucking look forward to the duty free month. Yeah, they are the weird, them. Creep. Oh, oh, like to, I guess like, it, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, I might be going to Tenerife, but I'm telling you what I'm looking forward to, mate. The fucking duty free oh, at Manchester that. Airport. That's that. what I go away for. <laughs> I'm not that. asked about the sun. I'm not asked about the nest. I want a fucking Toblerone. People like that are just weird. Yeah. Yeah. I want a seven foot Toblerone that costs yeah. 16 pounds, but per gram it's actually cheaper than the shops. <laughs> the one that pisses me off is that is weird is when people go to those duty free shops that are in actually in the country so you know, like sometimes a strip will just have like a strip in spain or something i'll have a duty free shop yeah. on the strip yeah that's hey, a cheap shop yeah you just hey that's spanish poundland <laughs> that's all you're doing there sounds good hey. on the way back though do i get it i sort of get it oh, on yeah, the way if back. You, like adam buys uh, cigarettes for somebody so that makes sense i'm yeah. part of a a, a cigarette gang <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that you can involves only, uh, you and your dad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, dad. Uh, yeah, me and my dad. Yeah, are journey fucking, over uh, a thousand miles starts with a single step. I've That's currently it. got. <laughs> they're called the fags. I've currently got <laughs> over a thousand ciggies in my flat. Have you heard them? Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> I've got over a thousand ciggies in my flat. Oh wow! I've been gallivanting quite a lot this year, but, and uh, I haven't seen my dad uh, since I got back from Tenerife. Oh. So I've got loads of bifters. Do you buy a block every time? Not a block. Yeah. What do I mean? A block? A, a sleeve. Uh, a a carton. Sleeve, yeah. A sleeve. Carton. sleeve. That's sleeve. what they're called. A sleeve of. Cigarettes. I get them a sleeve of biffs on every flight, yeah. Sleeve of biffs. <laughs> <laughs> and they know what you mean. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess I saw them open for Biffy <laughs> Clyro once. Can I have a sleeve? I got a sleeve of biffs on the way back from Dublin. You did, did you ask for a sleeve of biffs? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. It's a big fanny. What's his what's his chosen? <laughs> uh, you can tell a lot about a person. He, he really likes the ones I get him. <laughs> the free ones. The free yeah, ones my mum was always a uh, regal king size. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. My dad doesn't like king class. size. He'd rather have two normal ones than a big one. Aye. That was my brother's my nickname in school. Regal two king normal size. ones for a big one. Because he's tall and our second name's Regla. Uh, Fair that, enough, it does work. Regla king size. He was regal king size, yeah. My, in my uh, head, embassy number one and regal king size were like... Aye. Like, because that one was red and one was blue. It was either like white and blue box. Lambert and Butler. Great, like was gold. A, it was yeah. like cleaning lady fags, wasn't it? Aye, aye, aye. Benson and Edges was a bit rough. The cleaner? Aye. And the Ma cool the cool kids were like Marlborough gold. Aye. That was always the... Uh, Marlborough red was always a cool kid thing. No, you didn't want to be. I got my dad some Marlborough reds recently. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you. You got... You did, I got there's a, so many ciggies under his... Uh, somewhere in his house. Yeah. Don't tell the burglars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because they're definitely breaking uh, yeah. in, but he doesn't want to let them know where they are. Leave the, the PS5. Well, so it's <laughs> By the way, burglars, you've got as much chance of finding them as he has. <laughs> I showed you. I was just showed you. Oh, shit. They're in shows the biff's room. Maybe. <laughs> shows you where I am financially right now, where I th the highest value thing I could think of being in a house was a PS5. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's something that dead posh people have? PS5. <laughs> I... I the, the thing I'd be most worried about someone taking from me out is me webs. Mine's like, me, the, me, me good trainees that I like. Like, I've normally mm. got my laptop on me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just on top of him. <laughs> on his belly. 
I lost. I've been here for days. Is this? But I forgot to take it to. Uh... No, we don't leave much in the house. Please yeah. come and steal my guinea pigs. I'm fucking sick. Is of this <laughs> your laptop? Nothing. Then. Yeah, this is mine. Rocking the Huawei. 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 I don't keep anything in my house. I've got a lock up. I've got a. Oh, that sounds got right. a Huawei smartwatch. Huawei. Aye. And, uh, I've got a safe deposit box. <laughs> yeah. Right. The Royal Bank of Scotland in London. Ah, uh, why have you told them that? What? Stupid. Just that's stupid. Yeah. They'll know now. That's how bank. <laughs> they'll go happen. into the Royal Bank of Scotland in London. And go, hello, I'm Adam Rowe. Can I get my box? And they'll be like, oh, cool. He knows his name. Uh, I think. I think. And then, be right, right, is it about to give it to me? Like, wait a minute. What podcast are you host? <laughs> <laughs> have a, have Whoa. words. Ah, so close, mate. So close. Where have I seen you? I keep <laughs> all my stuff off? off, off. You know. Off property, bosh. All right, Carl, we get it. It's not in Highton. Um, <laughs> Brett Phelps says, uh, no, he doesn't. Uh, Craig Keating says, overrated, underrated, as the pizza. And the as the pizza bit. It's good pizza. It is. And I they, think. Is it as though that he, they'll cook it for you as well? Yeah. Nah, great. They'll do it. They'll yeah. do, you've got different bases. You yeah. can choose the topping. Some angry woman makes it. You and come back cook and it, finish <laughs> your shopping. Yeah. Cook it while you shop. That's, that's the bit, isn't it? It's yeah. good. It is good. Yeah, I like it's watch. obviously not restaurant mm. quality. No, but it's good. It's good for Asda. I like watching them suffocate it to death on that machine as well with the cellophane. Oh, cellophane. cellophane. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's good. Simple pleasure. Yeah, yeah that yeah. is watching that. Also, yeah. when you skint, getting one of the fat boy pizzas and loading it up for six quid is a lot of mm. fucking food. Are you a th thick crust? No, no, th it would be thin. Things have time yeah, to yeah. change for me. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. lavish now. Thin crust, thin crust. But back That's in the days, That's a touch days, of mate. class, that, when you get the oh, thin crust. crust. One. No, I prefer like, a deep pan, me. I'm yeah. getting, getting as the deep pan is like... I don't go to Asda. I don't go there. Aye. I get Heavy like, boy. I get like Goodfellas, mate. So. Uh, Gareth Jones says, Speed round, speed round. Overrated or underrated, fresh seaside donuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going in the paint here. Fresh. What do you mean, seaside donuts? Yeah, Absolutely no, underrated. Yeah, he yeah, means yeah. from one of those little goth fans at the seaside. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sporting events, the they seaside. They smell amazing, but they taste like just pure like paste. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Give me a bag of donuts and I'll sniff them all night like yeah. you in your 20s, 30s, and your early 40s. <laughs> but I got no, one to I taste like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You up until this morning. Um, I'd rather sniff donuts than eat them. Fact. The smell wow. is better than the eye. Donuts. They're just a bit much. A bit underwhelming. They just I taste think, like I... grease. Yeah. Because yeah. they are. I, don't know, I fucking taste it. Tastes good, man. A bit underwhelming. I, I ask for half sugar sometimes because I think they overdo it on the sugar. That's what we're talking about. They like literally throw the sugar around. If you just get a little less sugar, yeah. I think that's oh, a I good think donut. Loads of that action. stuff's overrated. Like, see, like places, every town centre's got like a, one of those places that just does desserts. And it's always like, Biscoff waffles, yeah, and all that shit. I think it's all overrated. It's too, no, it's too sweet. Some of those dessert places. I mean, like delivery is good. Their cookies are unbelievable. Oh, mm. A cookie dough with loads of vanilla ice cream and sit up in there. There's so many better donuts on there on that telly right now than the mm. one you're on about. Yeah, they're just a bit and holding them feels like you're burning your fingers. Do you know what? Cinnamon yeah, you can just wait that. though. You no, can't wait a little bit. Pump I mean, full of raspberry jizz, mate. No, That's the best heat, one. I mean, because there's that much sugar on them, it's like it makes your fingers feel horrible. Yeah, I do. I do mean it. Like I am. Um, I think half sugar is a good option uh, on yeah, them. Yeah. I really like it. I, How? Having said that, there's loads of great donuts. Mm. I'm just saying, I'm kind the of one into on the beach it. in Tenerife was good. That was basically the same thing, just yeah. a bit fat and wonky. Uh, yeah. yeah. I would take custard filled over jam filled as well. Raspberry oh, thing. Oh, raspberry filled one's the best on there. The, love that custard. Sucking strawberry that. shake. I don't mind custard, custard donut. but ra like jam is better. Oh, no. Yeah. Nah, I don't yeah. know. Those I custard used to donuts are so good, child. man. <laughs> um, Maskbud Da says, overrated, underrated, drinking while playing video games. What? Uh, I, <laughs> what, like hydrating? No, getting pissed. No, that's so odd. That's yeah. so, that's, that's so goth. It's sad. It's, it's like... How to make yourself worse a video. I also me. don't know what the rating for it is. <laughs> Aye. It's another one of them where it, he's written something in about, like, is this over or under Do you know this thing that none of you have got a rating for? That's, what's, what's that one? That's definitely like... That a, thing that no one has ever rated ever. Is it overrated uh, or underrated? I don't know. That's definitely his mum has pulled him up about that. Yeah. And he's been like, 
I'll get the lads on the pod on Can the side. Can you imagine side. if we were playing Mrs. FIFA? Mrs. Da. Mrs. Da. Can you imagine if we were playing FIFA and you heard like a rattling of ice? You're like, what's that? I meant it's a gin and tonic. <laughs> <laughs> that is a sex offender. We had, like, <laughs> that we is an actual pedophile. Like, when we were younger, like getting pissed and playing FIFA. Yeah, but that, was, that was getting pissed with FIFA. That Not FIFA, we're getting pissed. No. I know what you mean. Yeah, but but, I, but talk but, me through it. So we were getting pissed and we played FIFA while we were doing it. He's drinking while he's playing FIFA. That's yeah, the, I can uh, see the difference. You uh, can though. He was coming to mine to get bladder and then go out. And we go, do you want to put FIFA on? Whereas he's going, I'm yeah, putting yeah. FIFA on. Uh, I need a bevy. He's on his own. Yeah. Game's night. different. Oh, my, my one caveat to that would be, if you're doing a career as a manager, a couple of drinks after a long season <laughs> is stressful. Oh, you one of the champ man guys? I think I think you get that. Final, you get beat. You gotta get the whiskey out. Of aye, exactly. Go right, right. to the other manager's I, I chat think, room. Right. Or you say you get the big sign in, lads. Which raise a wee glass. What a brilliant you way to enable to Alexandra. Your, your own your own alcoholism. Yes, <laughs> Lee Clark. But yeah, this is just something he does. Oh, it's underrated. What drinking whilst playing games? Unless uh, you're playing like Wii Sports. That's oh, fun. that'd be fun. Mm. Yeah. Um, Jake says, "Is Jake Garrett is wearing <laughs> football shirts, jackets, etc. at musical festivals, music festivals, and gigs? Overrated or underrated? So that's football shirts, football Ooh. apparel oh. at music festivals. Underrated, overrated? It's uh, not. It, it doesn't have a rating. Does it? It's just a thing you can wear. Yeah. Thing. Not, but it should be. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? I personally, Sound? I personally." I think football, because. I don't know, there's something about seeing a football top in the wild sometimes. If it, like if it's clearly one that you just support but isn't where you're from. No, no, I, I only wear ones that I don't support. That I think that's fine. Yeah. I think if you if I wore a Rangers top yeah, that'd be awesome. out and about, if people you see would be, I will never. I'll, yeah, but out and about not at a music festival. I wouldn't wear any football. Aye. Like I wouldn't wear, I wear football tops in the year sometimes. Aye. But I wouldn't wear like a Liverpool top retro or current Aye. to go to the fucking ballet. But if nah. I'm at like Leeds Festival. <laughs> what you wear to the ballet? <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful example. Aye. I tell you what, I will wear my retro Liverpool away a lot Aye. of places, but not the ballet. Aye. Not the ballet. That's training kit so, for the ballet. Yeah, so this is a black tie event. It's you know just what? fucking hard. It is I wouldn't be nice if it was just for them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> at a music festival it's just one of the done things and it's sound isn't it? it's a Tiger Woods event <laughs> black tie <laughs> it's disgusting though. that's disgusting uh, one more Matt Labman says um, overrated underrated um, sort of the things you rate <laughs> no because he's just done a really cack handed way of writing out but basically oh, but the, um, the things that you've written um, right okay <laughs> Matt Lambert says not sure if this works better as a normal question my opinion <laughs> or an overrated underrated but here we go not that this podcast is one for objectifying women but how do you rate these features on them uh, face piercings face piercings I don't like them on the, the, one the, one the, the nose one I just think they look like a hog <laughs> oh, I fucking love that hog. I, I love a nose piercing. I actually, on do, a I actually did used to think what I've just said, but I actually quite like it now. Is that well, it's it's just a quick turnaround? <laughs> Five seconds. Yeah, yeah. Like you know what, Dan? No, you actually, have won me over. Fair. It used to really tear me off, but now I, I just don't like it. It has to be a earrings. One. Are, I've said it before. They're such a weird ick for me. The, Any I, earrings on a woman makes me sick. I think the the kinkiest one though is that one halfway the up the year. That's the date. That, that's to stop that's, migraines. That's a bit horny. I quite like that. It's also to show you that you're game. Uh, stop migraines. <laughs> What's uh, the ear in minute like limit? I think when it gets to like ten, you're like, oh, and 10? you and you're do done. You know, and you're done. Do you know what? Is I don't like, and I know it's like universally a thing of like, if a girl's got nipple piercings, it's like, oh, she's a bit, bit wild. I, they scare the shit out of me because I'm all, all, all I can see when I see a pierced nipple is imagine it getting caught on something. Oh. Like a towel or something when you're oh my God. drying yourself, oh, yeah. and I just I you can imagine like going at it and you whip the sheets back and just both our fucking tits fly. Oh, Have you seen yeah. that story? Or one of your cavities? Have you seen what they're doing in Thailand? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> did we talk about this on an episode or did someone? No. So, where did it get brought up? Because we were talking about it the other day. No, we we weren't. I've seen it in a group chat. So what's happened is what? women are going over. Go on. Women are going over to Thailand to get boob jobs. 
getting the boobs done, and then obviously after the boob job, you get taped up and bandaged up, and they've got to heal for X <laughs> amount of weeks. <sighs> and then when they're taking them off, they realise that the nipples have been stolen. Amazing. Thai pe- the Thai people are stealing nipples and selling them to trans people who want women's nipples. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we've reached the end of humanity and I'm here for it. Girls are getting on me, lads. They've got no nipples. They've been Aye. stolen off their tits. I'd buy a Literally. few nipples, man. <laughs> just a pair I don't of, like my nipples. pair of tits like Homer Simpson's eyes. <laughs> mm. just. Oh. I don't like my nipples. I'd quite happily get some new ones. They could sell me them. Women's nipples? <laughs> That'd be class. What do you think about that then? Yeah. What? So there's nipple dealers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you're a trans woman and you want, <laughs> I just pulled the wig. <laughs> <thing. laughs> if you're a trans woman, and Mad you want Moody. them to be, you know, you don't want a man's nipple just bigger. They get in the woman's nipple and sewing yeah. it on. You know how the police catch them? They go out on a cold day and you can see them in people's pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Pocket full of nipples. <laughs> He's got a pocket full of stiffies. <laughs> we use Stevie Wonder Pierce V Braille nipples. <laughs> Do you call hard nipples stiffies? No, stiff nips. Stiffies is stiff nips. Wreck. Stiffies is cocked, uh, stiffy is a stiffy, but like stiff nips. <laughs> a pocket full of stiffies. Uh, is that a film. scouse thing, stiffy? Have you ever no. said I've got yeah, a stiffy? Stiffy is definitely at Scot- least northwest. Scottish tends to be like a uh, like a stoner or a stiffy. A stoner. Got a stoner. A pocket full of stiffies is the sequel to a fistful of dollars <laughs> <laughs> and a few stiffies more. <laughs> I haven't said stiffy like properly for years. I think we've mentioned when this on the pod. You have said it? Imagine how disappointed you are waiting six weeks to see your new tits. The girl yeah. I asked me virginity oh, to God. in heebie jeebies said, Get those pants off and show me your stiffy. <laughs> <laughs> she sounds like a busy. <laughs> I'd have been no thanks that would, be, that would be class if you'd <laughs> I'd have been on toes mate boot that fire next open get your stiffy out sir no <laughs> not today officer <laughs> busy cunt to that uh, you're shagged by a busy that's what, entrapment what, what is it's <laughs> entrapment <laughs> what was the Please, busy if you'd have got your cock out you'd have went Indian's exposure yeah. bosh he's got you Indian's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Get his> cock <laughs> Yeah, but she liked it and just went, I'll have it, actually. Technically, if it's under five she inches, you can't have it on your more. person. She couldn't resist. I've been undercover for five years trying to take down people getting their dicks out, but that is so magnificent. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, I've missed the last five birthdays of my child, but it was worth yeah. it. For <laughs> <Show> <laughs> yeah, me yeah I'm not going to charge you for that one because it's clearly just a bit of personal. That's oh. wild, that. Get those pants off and show me that stiffy. That's brutal, <laughs> chat. Do you use that's... that to one too? <laughs> What? That's Devo in your bank. No, I've never wanked over that one. I mean, you'd think I would, because toilet sex is, you know, it's a bit filthy, innit? Do you do, do you do time travel wanks? <laughs> <laughs> Did that in the trailer? I've got to stop thinking about it, because I feel like I'm time cheating on Laura, but I love time travel wanks. Oh. Over Faye. <laughs> What's a time travel wank? <laughs> <laughs> you and Faye on the beach. One last fuck before I ask her that question. <laughs> 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 what do you think I'm the one? Mm, no, do you think I'm the one? Not really. Well, at least we're going to have sex on this beach now you're crying. <laughs> Dan, what are you doing? Wait, I've got something to tell you. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to go with some ice cream. Smell them. <laughs> oh, I love a time there's travel a, wank. There's a wee packet of hot donuts for you after this. <laughs> <laughs> so she goes a bubble. <laughs> Not too much sugar. What do you mean, like, remembering old ladies? <laughs> 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 They're all old ladies now, Carl. <laughs> They're all old ladies now. Yeah. Former ladies. Uh, a lot of them would have been, been buried at sea. <laughs> <sighs> Just Former. sliding Joanna Lumley off the side of a booze cruise. <laughs> Shouldn't recognise him. <laughs> this one's for the Gurkhas. <sighs> That's still fuck Joanna is- Lumley. She's... We wo- I watched um, Wolf of Wall Street again recently. <laughs> Where she's are you going with this? She's, still, she's, in, she's it. in it. Oh, of course she yeah. is again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's no she's screech for that one. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot that as well. She is in it. She's the, I'm British and rich. She's the, race, yeah. she's the racy yeah. auntie. I, I, I also definitely still pump Helen Mirren as well. Oh, we've said that all along. Yeah. Yeah. But I would prefer to time travel back to 1970. To Caligula era. Hang on, is the question shag 
Hello, Midden, or time travel? Or do you want to time travel and sugar? Forgive me for... <laughs> no, the uh, question was, what do you think of face piercings? <laughs> 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 Carl's got a history of not being able to place the question. That he's been <laughs> yeah, no. Well, that is, that is next level. Uh, Hang on, what was the question? Uh, uh, <laughs> was this from Jake Garrett? Would you rather time travel and shag Joanna Lumley? No, you or said... Nick and Nipples? You should have happily no. time travel to the 70s. I didn't know that was a shag head or just a beat Count and nips. Or what, the summer of love? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everyone had the nipples. It was a different time back then. <laughs> you couldn't move for Joanna Lumley's nipples. Back then, you just had to you just had to grow into the nipples God gave you. You're gonna go yes. swapping them about like Pokemon cards. Do you she can have threesomes if she forgets who you are halfway through. What? Oh. If you're shagging Joanna Lumley oh. and she forgets your face, oh. yeah, and you're a new person. Is that a you're threesome? not a new person, Carl. <laughs> to where you are? You're not. What? Because <laughs> you're not. <laughs> Oh, you should go steal me, John. How big a break do you take when you're shagging Joanna Lumley? <laughs> <laughs> what has she got? Has she got like she, she can't remember people's faces? She can't remember people's faces. She can't. That's handy. What for? Uh, if you in case you're involved in a crime, <laughs> she's she's a class. That she's a class bank robber. She never <laughs> rats anyone out. She's like, who are you with? I, I don't have a fucking clue. Was I in the bank? <laughs> I honestly don't know. <laughs> Hi there, you want to rob a bank with her and Bruce Willis because he's got dementia now. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm Stevie Wonder. Yeah. <laughs> what a bank job that'll be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's doing what? <laughs> Why are we here? I don't know. Who are you? I can't see. Bruce Willis. <laughs> Bruce Willis is like, are you telling me at the end of Sixth Sense I was a fucking ghost? <laughs> Stevie Wonder's like, I got my Fuck, am I? <laughs> and Joan Lumley goes, Are you Stevie Wonder? And she goes, No, I'm Bruce Willis. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no oh, Stevie Wonder just goes back to them. He's like, Who the fuck are you talking to? I don't know. Oh, face piercings are all right. That is, that is, that's it. That is peak. <laughs> have a word. <laughs> Thank you, mate. I'm, I very rarely do this at the end of an episode, but what a fucking blinder you just played, mate. That oh, was fire. Cheers, man. Thanks very much. Um, cheers, Lids. Appreciate you. Class. Oh, shit. We've got a song. Oh, oh I God. love this song. Finn isn't even here. It's we don't care. Brilliant. Should we not do it then? <laughs> Are you asked? Should it's we DJ do? Jazzy Jeff? With Summertime. Summertime. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got, yeah. Up and coming artist. Um, <laughs> Oh, it's a great song. I've actually memorized it. It's a band called <laughs> More In Love. The song is called Go Home and is released on the 28th of July. They've got a gig in Casimir Stockroom on the same day to celebrate the release. And those words mean something to someone. And that's just on the audio. We don't do it on YouTube because of copyright. It's been a fucking great episode today. Sign up for the Patreon. Buy tickets for all these things. Ta-da. Get on me.